Chris. Yeah. Name some things that you got scared of as a kid and they made you run out of the room that was on the TV. The Final Fantasy VII bombing mission. Oh, yeah. That's one of the only things that ever did that. I remember I used to imagine moving pictures at nighttime. Did you do that? Like, like on the wall pictures yeah. or? Yeah, my eyes would play tricks on me and I'd see uh, the things in the pictures moving around. It would happen because I had a popcorn ceiling. Oh, you I did? Would, I would imagine stuff moving in the, in the patterns. I have a specific memory of, of yelling from my mom and saying that the headless horseman is on the ceiling. <laughs> And That's... he's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I don't need this thing uh, yet. But yes, uh, I used to have a vivid imagination as a kid. And now it's fading away rapidly. Name all the most horrible things you imagined. That mama and what was papa I truly afraid of as a kid? I was afraid of burglars. We got burgled a lot. Really? Yeah. I don't think I've ever been... Like, I don't think I've ever had somebody break into my home. I've had my my uh, pockets picked. In Ireland, we have these it. very fun people that like stealing a lot. And they broke into my mom and dad's house at least three times since I lived there. And they Why'd always leave a big, it? lovely mess. Why didn't you protect your parents, Chris? I wasn't yeah. there. Uh, well, what, the first time it happened, I was very, very young. I was like eight or something. Why didn't you use Braver? The second two times I had moved out. Uh, Braver? Yeah. Um, why didn't you do Omni Slash? Why didn't you run up as a little kid and go Because <laughs> I wasn't powerful enough yet. They were super bosses. They were like weapons of yeah. Whitesford. Chris, the burglar broke in and he started making the Omni Slash sounds and then they went <laughs> We actually like <laughs> cast out on the ground. We interrupted the burglar the first time. He had, uh, sh he had gotten his friends to uh, shove a, a wheelie bin up against the door so we couldn't get in. Oh my gosh. You know what happened to my mom and dad once? They went on a holiday to, I think the Canaries or somewhere. Yeah. Or Portugal, I forget. But they went on holiday and they went to bed one night and uh, a bunch of fucking- They wet the bed? They did not wet the bed. That's it was an a, easy joke. Uh, some fucking weirdo shoved the tube into their window and gassed them. And made oh my them, god. Made them like sleep really heavily and they got robbed blind. That's really scary because you could die like that. I know. My mom has like been through some shit. Uh. What am I doing? I like when we have discussions as opposed to just making noises. Yeah, me too. I'm sure all the viewers really enjoy that too, right, viewers? Hey, viewer, mm. check this one out. I You like that? <laughs> <laughs> I freaking did it. Why does he want to do this so bad? Suck me. Oh, fuck! It's <laughs> <laughs> hard. No! Shepardoy. Oh. Okay, don't screw up this time. Oh, oh. Whoa! Wow. Wow. Mew Mew. You found the little midget. There's the moo moo. He reminds me of Kiwi. See, he sounds like he says Ling Ling. Oh, he does say Ling Ling. He says Ling Ling from the hit show. From yeah, you found the B card. <laughs> Draw together. I'm not a retard. Draw together. Yeah. Chris, what did you think of Drawn Together? What I hated it. Okay. I, I, really... I think I think hating it is definitely a sign that you're a normal person at least. <laughs> When I was a kid, uh, my friends were talking about it in school, and I went home because I was like, I want to be cool. And then he screamed in their ear. <laughs> no, no, no. I went into my mom and dad, and I was like, Mom, Dad, can I watch MTV? And they're like, okay. And they and said, Christopher? <laughs> no, no, they didn't. But they were like, yeah, you can watch MTV, and they put it on for me, and I went into the kitchen, and then they obviously didn't stop watching it. Okay, so I sat there, and then that black girl in the show oh, was boy. in the hot tub making out with someone else. Oh, so it's the first episode. Yeah, and it got real raunchy, and then my mom walked out, and she went, You're not allowed to watch this, and I was like, I know. And it was really embarrassing. And she said, I'm gonna watch it with you, too. I was like, I don't even like it. It's not even funny, Mom. She's she like, yeah, okay. I've talked about she guilty pleasures. She contact with you, and she just said, You know we shouldn't be watching this. <laughs> And that's why I moved out. Like, wasn't allowed to watch that was, yeah, that was the That was the inciting <laughs> incident. You so had wait, to... it was on MTV over there? Yeah. That makes sense. It was Comedy Central over here. I think, actually, maybe it was on... I, I don't know, MTV... It was directly and, and... competing with South Park, and they I'm... really like talking about it. Yeah, they... I might be wrong, I they forget. They really enjoy South Park, I heard. The movie's all about how much they love South Park. I remember MTV used to play Spongebob in Ireland. Uh, MTV played Ren and Stimpy later on. Mm. Did they actually? Yeah. Oh. But anyway, enough about that. Hole. Maybe I'm fucking wrong about all of that. I, I don't know. 
You're wrong about your memories? That show yeah. doesn't exist, actually, Chris. You Why not? I, I, I watched through Drawn Together fairly recently, and I'll say that, it, like I said, I think hating it is definitely the natural response. <laughs> I, I, I remember, like it. Well, but, I was going to say, I remember occasionally it had jokes that were funny, but for the most part, it was just nothing. It was just aimlessly. It's definitely to be when people shot. say offensive for offensiveness sake, yeah. I would definitely no, say that's that, probably that is the show to go to for that. Because that's what the movie's about. They're yeah. upset with South Park for Oops. having a point. Yeah, I hate the fucking movie. It hurts. It sure doesn't it look It was good. animated in a flash and it looked okay for Flash. That's true. But I animate in Flash. And I'm You cool. would probably do and better. I, and you're I'm way better than Drun <laughs> together. Better than the movie. <laughs> Comic Central, where's my show? <laughs> Why won't you give me any attention? <laughs> By the way, we went to Denny's and I feel sick to my stomach after eating it. Yeah, we went to Denny's and it was like a fucking carnival inside. <laughs> There's so many scary looking people. Yeah. <laughs> scary looking people. It's, it's not a lie. It was seriously every table. The guy sitting right next to us looked like... Did you see what he was doing? He was getting up and stealing things from every single table. Was he really? He was pocketing some of it. Wait, really? Yes. <laughs> he looked like he a kept melting looking version around. Of, he looked like a melting version of Trevor from GTA. Yeah, he kind of did. And then as we're leaving, this whole family of uh... <laughs> <laughs> he literally, he there's a like really a fat. There's a really fat one with the ponytail, and he was like marching in. Yeah, he looked like I a said, monster. You all sit down there. I'm gonna get a table for <laughs> us. Missing precisely half of his teeth in the wrong order. <laughs> What's the right order to be it, missing your teeth? Well, it was like he had his. He has a tooth missing. A tooth has a tooth missing. A tooth. It was like. There was such big gaps between his teeth. It yeah, so like he can clamp his mouth down further than <laughs> most people can. <laughs> Poor Crash. I wish Crash Bandicoot was my brother, <laughs> and I wish that Neocortex was my mother. What about your poppy? I wish he divorced her and left because he's mean to me. Do you guys want to do therapy right now? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll be- Psychoanalyze me, Chris. Okay, uh, Julian, I'm the psych- I'm the therapist. Welcome to my oh, my office. My, my office. <laughs> yeah, come to my office. Welcome to my office. It just be Dexter as a therapist. <laughs> I can't be Dexter. That was remember yeah, the one like, in the Flintstones on the Rocks. De Dexter was their therapist. Oh, <laughs> Julian, this is serious. No talking about cartoons while we're doing therapy. Okay. Uh, what is your earliest memory? Uh, ooh, that's a tough one. What is I your would latest say memory? <laughs> I would say <laughs> my earliest memory is I think of I knew just enough about like where's Cortex? He was behind you. I knew just enough about like cartoon language to know that like oh if you're striped if you have stripes on you that means like you're a convict. Yeah. Like you belong in jail and so That's your earliest memory. I saw the I saw the Beetlejuice cartoon and I was like, "Oh, this is interesting. It's a whole cartoon mm -hmm. about a guy who's in jail, I guess." Yeah. And that was that was probably the earliest thing I can think of. I'm glad you survived that trauma. <laughs> okay, second question. Okay. Uh, what was the hardest you ever hit a kid? <laughs> uh, ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually thrown a punch because I'm a I'm a I'm a wimpy gay boy. I would always I would always slap people. I, I slapped a kid in the face as a kid too. He was asking for- he was being such an asshole. Do you want to hear the lamest situation in the world? Yeah. I used to get bullied by this kid on my school bus, and he was this tiny little asshole who, who could not fight. He was such a little pussy bitch, right? Okay. And I was a bigger pussy bitch because I was like way bigger than him and I wouldn't do anything, right? Okay. And, and we used to always sit near these girls who were fucking bitches, and they were like always making fun of us both. And then fucking one day, he was like really annoying me, and I was like, if you, if you annoy me again, I'm gonna punch you in the face. And he was like, Ugh, and he annoyed me, and I slapped him really hard in the face. And he started crying really hard in front of the girls. And just to them, it must have been the lamest situation in the world. The two dorks were just having a fight, one slapped the other and made each other cry. <laughs> that is very embarrassing. Oh, you know what? I have a fucking, I have a fucking embarrassing story uh, yeah. that I remembered just recently was, uh, I used to go to Disneyland really frequently because I had a, an annual pass when I was a teenager. Yeah. And I haven't had one since then, but uh, I remember one of the- fuck you. One of the really early times that I went, uh, I was- there, there was- uh, this was a period where I was trying to be really, really nice to all salespeople because I realized, like, 
yeah, these, these, uh, these people's lives stink. They have to work at this register and, like, deal with angry mm -hmm. uh, tourists all day. And so I was trying to make... Uh, well, I was trying to make I was trying to make really nice conversation with this cashier, and uh, it was like late at night. It was right before closing. Yeah. And uh, I was asking her like, "Oh, how's your day been? How's how are things? What like stuff?" And uh, and at one point I we didn't even go all the way. At one point I said uh, she was all like, "Oh yeah, I'm really tired and everything," and and I. I phrased it as like, oh, what time do they let you off work? Yeah. And she thought I was creeping on her and I didn't realize it until <laughs> later. Cause she started giving me weird looks after that. Yeah. And uh, so I guess she thought I meant like, oh, when do you get off or <laughs> fuck? Something like that. How old and are you? And so I, I was like probably 18 oh, okay. or something. So like it wouldn't have been outside the realm of possibility for somebody else to do that. I was like 12 with my story. Uh, oh, with your slap story? <laughs> yeah. Little fat chubby kid. Julian, when you were a little, little fat man mm -hmm. in school, did you used to do the big baggy jumper trick? Uh, tell me. Where you just wear big baggy jumpers. So, oh, oh, of so like, like, yes, absolutely. People won't think I'm fat now. Absolutely, they'll, they'll be distracted by my big baggy pants. I used to do that too. Okay, that, well, that was better. Here's the birds. This is for the shit, so this, this is, is for, for the birds. birds. Nobody's gonna get that. Go watch American Movie. It's one of my favorites. We've watched it twice now. What? What movie? American Movie. It's very American funny. Movie. Have you never seen it? No. I just killed a crow. Crow? I just killed a crow? I don't have time for movies? <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the guy in my school who, who was like, crow? <laughs> well, that's the story. It's like, uh, oh, he was considered the dumbest guy in school and everyone made fun of him all the time. And then one day the teacher came in. She was like, we're, we're, we're doing, oh, fuck. We're, we're doing uh, the school magazine. Everybody write an article. And uh, well, if you want. And then he was like, I want to write an article. And everyone was like, oh, what's he going to write about? This should be funny. And he was like, <laughs> his article was just, hello, my name is blank. And I like shooting crows on my spare time. Shoot crows. <laughs> he was like really, really like countryside Irish. He was just like, there's nothing better than just unloading a shotgun on an unsuspecting crow. Goodness gracious. But sometimes I imagine <laughs> if it was my parents. It was really funny. Perhaps all of my classmates. <laughs> Were all the kids laughing? Yeah, everyone was like, why the fuck did you write about this idiot? And he's like, I thought it'd be good. I thought it'd be good. <laughs> I thought it'd be fucking good. Oi. I love fucking kids voice acting things, <laughs> trying not to scream to embarrass themselves. Chris, yeah. yeah, that's why Let's Players are very popular because young children don't have the privilege to shriek at home. Did I ever I'm show you guys? Die. It's a power fantasy. Did I ever tell you guys about that weed movie I saw? Which one? I, I don't. I forget what it was called. But one time, me and Sean, uh, Kylie, this was years ago, but he was like. Man, I just got the best weed, man. And I was like, okay, let's smoke it. This was years ago. I don't smoke weed anymore. I don't really like it. But um, he's like, we need to put on a good story movie, man. <laughs> and he put on this. We went on Netflix, and it just it was just like something. It it was it was clearly a weed movie. It starts off right, and it's these guys. These like they're like, yo, man. This, you need to get high before you watch this movie, man. But it, it was just so weird. It's like, you need to do it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fat Albert comes up, you need to get high. <laughs> I just don't, I don't get it. It's like, what was you the can't point? You get high with, with Fat Albert because he'll make you, he'll push you into the road. Yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> one time I. Oh, sh One time I brought my inflatable bat outside onto the roof and I slept in the sun for a bit. <laughs> Did I you get sunburned? Were we all red oh, and pink? I, I woke up and I was really sweaty and when I brought it back in, I cut it on a piece of glass and I couldn't use it again. Oh no. Oops. Those are, those are those weird moments that you always remember for some reason? Yeah. Do the thing where you quit and you can log back in and he's under the tree. <laughs> kids, <laughs> kids react to. Kids react to long, long nail. <laughs> kids react to waiting in line. <laughs> kids react to daddy looking at me. <laughs> that sounds really spooky. <laughs> daddy looking at me. Kids react to falling into <laughs> splinters. <laughs> <laughs> like just a pile of <laughs> Chris, kids, what is it? No, like, well, now that, that you brought shun. it up. Just Tell me, how would you react? <laughs> how would you react if you woke up in bed like at errands and everything where you're actually saying, yeah. 
but you woke up in the middle of the night and you saw your dad standing in the doorway. <laughs> With splinters in him? No. <laughs> My dad? Just just in the case of splinter And man. then you went, Dad? And then he left and I, you got him. <laughs> no, no, he goes, he goes. I would, I would assume that he, like, he followed me. And I'd be really, really fucking weirded out. He goes, Chris. But you couldn't find him after. I've like, come all the you, way from Ireland. You I need help a... getting the splinters out. <laughs> Honestly, I would just uh, assume it was a hallucination. Because Did I tell you about the hallucination I had like two weeks yeah, ago? Yeah, you told me about it. Did you? I don't remember I, I went to bed and, and like I never, ever, ever sleep on my back because every time I do, I have a hallucination. Really? And so that's a good way to get sleep paralysis. Yeah. And, that's and, interesting. And so this one time I was like, well, it's been like fucking three years since I tried napping on my back. Maybe I'll try it. I fucking sit on my back for like ten minutes and then... Like, I'm in another world, I just- I, I'm hallucinating, but I'm still awake, and I know I'm still awake. And then I just get this, like, fucking clear vision of, like, this cockroach and a spider just, like, crawling on each other. And I was just like, okay, okay no, wake up. And I just woke <laughs> up, and I was like, okay, I'm not doing that again. That's uh, really interesting. It, it was like, it was bright as day in front of my eyes, just a spider and like, this weird cockroach hybrid thing. Interesting. I hated it. I hate them both. I hate cockroaches and spiders. I don't mind spiders, but I hate cockroaches and I hate but centipedes. this thing was like a weird fucking... Ugh. I don't like you. Centipedes are fucking awful. I hate them. I'm glad we don't have house centipedes here in California. Oh, they freak please. Me out. Don't even I think start we've had that. this discussion already. <laughs> yeah, because it's the stupidest conversation every time I've heard it. Why? No, I. Cockroaches are fucking har- disgusting and are, are way worse house than house centipedes. centipedes are completely harmless. House centipedes stay They're not. They bite. The they, they got har- venom. No, they, well, they fucking don't. don't. Not, yes, they do. How they don't no. fucking bite. Oh, why not I've all lived centipedes? with them for years on end. They don't fucking bite. Oh, let's look up a house. going to say they bite. It's because. In a rare situation, if you actually shake one up and hold it in your hand <laughs> for an hour, maybe it'll eventually bite you. I'm looking at Hashtag not all centipedes. What they I fucking get... do is they break their legs off, which is why they have so uh, many of them. Unless you... provoked, house centipedes won't bite, but they do bite if you provoke them. You're a fucking idiot! No, That's not! That's what I just said! Yeah, yeah if that you means fucking they hold it bite. in your hand and shake it. Guys, don't go, don't, don't get near it. Why would it you pick bite. it up? If you pick it up and shake it for an hour, <laughs> it might bite you. Why would you shake it? They would bite you anyway. <laughs> it, it sees you as a threat. If provoked. If that's every animal in the fucking world, exactly. that's like saying exactly. Like saying, exactly. It's like saying, oh shit, I don't want to sit next to Matt. He's gonna bite me. Well, the, and you are mm. silly. Don't get near that baby. You are if lazy, silly Billy. It, it might bite you. That means if I held a cockroach, he's not gonna bite me. Therefore, he's less threatening than a fucking house centipede. Therefore, you're you know, wrong. A roach would try to bite you. Its mouth isn't big enough, though. But he, no, he, he I've been hurt. bitten by. I got bitten by a grasshopper once. That shit hurts. <laughs> it's also roaches fucking love being everywhere, and they're everywhere. They reproduce like crazy. Yes. They shove themselves. If you see one, there's a billion others. How centipede? You'll see one and hide. Okay, so it fucking stays out of the way. Also, I don't. Two scenarios. You, you're in bed. Also, they're smaller. They have a billion legs, but they're smaller yeah. than cockroaches. And they yes. they can't get everywhere cockroaches can, and they don't yeah. fly. I always see how centipedes like the size of your fucking hand. Uh, that's they're pretty. They, they can get they big. They're not the size of your. They're hand. not. They're not as big as cockroaches, but they're pretty big. I got bitten by once. Uh, bitten by one once. I was in the woods and I was taking a shit while I was camping, <laughs> and it bit my ankle. A house centipede? No, just a big centipede. We had a really bad problem with house centipedes in uh. It hurt. Philadelphia. I used to always see them. In house centipedes. House. They just scare me because of all the legs. I don't like yeah. bugs with long legs. They look fucking disgusting. They're scary. They kill spiders too. They kill cockroaches too, I think. Yeah, they're, I, they're I like helpful to have around, that. just like, like I can't stand they looking kill, at them. They kill spiders too. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather a spider than a house centipede. I would rather a, spider's, a spider than a roach yes. or a house centipede. Yeah, spiders at least eat everything if else. If I have to choose between a roach and a house centipede, I'm going with a house centipede. Spiders aren't gross. Spiders I probably creepy, would too, gross. just because cockroaches are a fucking infestation. Yeah, They'll exactly. That's everything. why I wouldn't want them. Also, yeah. they're house thicker, centipedes, they're heavier, they're bigger, House centipedes go to the trouble of staying out of your way. Cockroaches can also fly at your face. Yeah. They, uh, like, they, you know, they- Yeah, they, house centipedes always are sticking to a wall or a floor, they can't Yeah, fly. they don't- they don't like being out in the they're open. Really so if you're gonna try to kill too. it, you have an easy time killing also, it. Also, house centipedes won't get in your bed with you and, and climb on your legs. No, legs they too. stay away, they Fucking try cockroaches. to hide from you. Cockroaches, cockroaches will climb in your bed with you. It's happened to me. <laughs> really? It's happened yeah. To, I- in my first apartment, I woke up in the middle of the night and- because there was something itching on my leg, and I was like, oh, I don't like that, and so I woke up. And there's this I I the, I kicked off this fucking uh, cockroach, yeah. and I had a fucking egg sack stuck to my leg. Oh. It was awful, and I couldn't. He sleep. never got it off. I couldn't. <laughs> that's right. It's this is it right thing. here. Look. <laughs> it became my new ball sack. <laughs> but it was so it was so fucking gross, and I was so freaked out. I I slept with the light on. Oh uh, yeah. If I'm like if I'm in my bedroom and I see a cockroach. Afterwards. And it gets away, like if I try to kill it and it gets away and I can't find it, yeah. I shut my door, stick a towel under it, and go sleep in the other room. Yeah. I, I will not tolerate cockroaches. <sighs> it sounded like an 
angry teacher. I will not tolerate cockroaches <laughs> in this classroom. <laughs> That's what I hate about I like cockroaches it. too, is that you step on them and then they got eggs on you. Ugh. And they crunch too. <laughs> What if the actual laser came out of the TV screen to the real world of Blind and Lyle? I can't wait for 40 elements like that on my PSP. <laughs> Your PSP? <laughs> I, I think every kid in my school used their PSP for porn. Really? I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, you could put MP4s on it. Rural Christian. So they were like downloading porn and putting their porn on their PSP? Yeah, and bringing them into school and showing each do other. Do you remember when uh, our friend got fined five thousand dollars because he downloaded porn. Are we allowed to say that? I uh, maybe not. Maybe I don't want think you want people knowing that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really funny story. Yeah, you probably cut it. It's really sad. He doesn't deserve that. Uh, was, I said, "Who the?" F I said, "Dude, who fucking downloads porn?" You were like, oh, "I shouldn't have looked at it doing anymore." <laughs> <laughs> Wait, downloaded it from where? I some porn website. And apparently, the okay, some please. some company found out that he did that and sent him a check in the mail for fi a fine for a fee for five thousand bucks. That's crazy. Stand? Yeah, probably cut that out. So. We can bleep his name. That's actually like a really fascinating it's story. True, it's true. It's true. I was talking about what it happens. I don't remember if he, if he ended up paying it or if he ended up saying fuck you or what. Yeah, that's really weird. So he downloaded it from like. I I, I don't I can't. It was, this was years ago. How? But I mean, if you go to a porn site and you download porn, that would insinuate you bought it, right? Or no. He torrented it. Oh, he torrented I, porn? It might have been he torrented it, yeah. I Didn't you guys have your internet, like, shut down because you got caught? It was because <laughs> some stupid bitch in our house at the time downloaded Mary Poppins or something. <laughs> she downloaded um, Saving Mr. Banks and then blamed everyone else. In a house of fucking, like, seven or eight guys, yeah, who yeah. the fuck downloaded Saving Mr. The, Banks? And, and, she, and, and she fucking got mad at everybody. And she of course also, it was her. And she blamed everybody else for eating her carrots. And she said, <laughs> her, her baby carrots. I said, uh, I said, do you, do you think anybody would fucking like... It's a one dollar bag of baby carrots, first of all. Yeah. Second of all, like, nobody in this house eats fucking super healthy. Yeah, nobody, I'll, nobody's sneak, sneaking your fucking baby carrots. Me and Zach uh, used to live with a really horrible bitch. Yeah, she was, she was genuinely a bad person. I don't feel bad saying that. One time she left... <laughs> she left cereal out, and then uh, maggots got into it, and then moths started appearing all over the house. <laughs> and every night, I'd hear Cory fucking smashing them against the wall, going, FUCK! And, and one time he had, he had like a blue moon bottle, a beer in his room, and there was like 60 of them, they all, they all it was like a, it was like a trap, they would all fly in there and die. Yeah, and then he was Did like, he just leave it then? Well, yeah, one night he was screaming, I just ran in, ran up to his door, I was like, Cory, shut the fuck up! And he was like, there's just moths everywhere, I'm like, I don't care! And then, uh, fucking a few days later, she was literally on the floor in the crying. kitchen, in the fetal position, crying. We're like, what's wrong? And she's like, what do you mean, what's wrong? Look up! And we looked up with maggots <laughs> crawling across the roof. And we're like, there was like two. Yeah, we're like, like, okay. Two maggots. We're there was like, like okay. <laughs> we're like, this is your fault. It's like, <laughs> like no one else buys fucking cereal here. Well, you she's, fucking she's, nut. She said she's. Well, she had bought one of those gigantic retarded sized thing of Cheerios in a box. Yeah. And she and she said somebody ate my Cheerios and forgot to close the box back up. It's like nobody did. Yeah. Nobody she was just did. Can nuts. We got so much fucking stories about her. You remember that one time she got really bitter and pissed off because she had to go to... She well, got really well, fucking she, mad. She had a day job. She had to go to her day job. And she was like, why do you guys get to fucking sit around all day? Yeah, we're, we're all working in the office. It's like... Making uh, cartoons. Yeah, it's because like this, this is our job. So yeah, it's she, like, well, she was mad. You guys are drawing like a fucking thousand pictures a minute, so... We were all sitting in the living room watching a movie and she got really mad that she had to go to work at fucking wherever the fuck she worked. And it's like, it, like, yeah, we worked to do this. Yeah. It's the free market. If you're working, you get something, you get it. I don't... I think it's fair. If she... I, I actually say the same thing about, like, YouTubers that a lot of people don't like. Like, like even Ray Lillian Johnson, I'm not a huge fan of, obviously. I think he, Wait, he worked for it. He worked for it. And, he, and, and be mad at the people watching him, not the guy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, at if, that if, point. If, if, if like, there's an audience for it, be mad at the audience, not for the guy who's supplying the appetite. Fucking, uh, can we tell the one story about one time we went to a party and, uh, her brother was there 
and, and uh, we were all uh, watching the TV. Like, like whenever we, who were we watching? We, we were watching Babies Falling Over compilation on oh. YouTube, and the brother walks in, and he goes, "What are you watching?" We we're like, "Babies Falling Over." Take a seat. And he sat down, and he got really fucking mad. And he was, he was like, give me the controller. Yeah, he's like, give me the controller. I'm sick of this shit. And we were just like, uh, everyone else is having fun, but okay. And we gave him the controller, and he put on honest trailers. And then nobody was, like, like laughing, and everyone just started talking over it. And he got mad. He stood up. <laughs> he looked like this. Did he have half of his face burned off? No, nah, he looked so normal. Go, it's time to put on this trailer. <laughs> no, Lyle. He really hated babies falling over. He really hated babies falling over. And he walks out of the room. This that, is him with the remote. And, uh, <laughs> uh, so he walks back in, and we're all watching a really, really gory horror movie. I don't remember what it was. And there's someone on on TV getting stabbed in the stomach over and over. And he walks in. He goes, "What? What the hell is this?" And then Zach turns around and goes. Son, it goes to the real world, dude. <laughs> and then I went like that, and he looks at me, and he's like, "Yo, Chris, just so you know." And he, he looked over at a girl. He's like, "A girl, I, by the way, he tried to hit on her. He tried hitting on her. He tried actually bringing her into the woods to hit on her." Yeah. He goes, "I, I would never hit her, but I, I would lay into you." And I was just like, "What?" He's like, "I." I would never hit her, but I'd lay into you. I'm like, okay. And then he walked away. And then he walked away all <laughs> flustered. It was the weirdest fucking encounter. <laughs> it was so fucking weird. It was just genuinely bizarre. Everybody walked out like, did that just happen? Did he just throw a punch you? <laughs> Everyone I... tried ignoring it because it was so weird. It just it didn't make any sense logically. I, I kept saying, like, did that? Wait, so <laughs> yeah, I, I, was like, I was like, I heard everything just happened, but you're telling me I said Sonic goes to the real world, 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 and this guy world, said he would not punch a girl, but he would punch Chris, and he left? <laughs> it, it, that, and was, he, that was the secrets of events, He though. should have said that to you for making if fun anything, of him. If anything, if anything, yeah. <laughs> it made no fucking sense. He was just mad at me for some reason. <laughs> It was because I, I put on babies falling over. It must have fucking infuriated him. <laughs> he, do you think he was like stewing on that until he like came back into the room? I think he was really angry because the girl kept turning him down over and over. Yeah, he was definitely like blue balled. <laughs> oh, I think you were sitting next to this girl. Not like that kind of way, but you were just sitting next oh to Oh my her. god, yeah. I think that was it. Yeah, what a fucking idiot. He, oh, well. he was also bragging. He was like, yeah. Gonna make a bunch of money by selling a bunch of games to GameStop. <laughs> or, or, uh, yeah, GameStop, or whatever the fuck it was. But he was like bragging he was gonna sell, like, sell $30 worth of games. I also think he, uh, got, uh he, it took him months to find a job, and then he got fired after one day. Oh, here's the, here's a, here's a good way to end this story. Well. So, the girl, the other room we were talking about, the girl, her, her, his sister, uh, the first girl with the, the bot story, she, was living at the bar place paying like half rent. Yeah. And then he moved in without anybody consenting and got a whole room to himself and paid half of her rent. Yeah, it made no so, fucking sense. So, so they were both paying like a quarter rent. And it took him like, yeah, three months to get a job. And, uh, um, he finally got a job. He worked at Starbucks and he got fired like almost immediately. <laughs> and then when uh, everyone made him move out, oh. they found a box of pubes under his bed. Yeah, he would, like, cut his fucking hair. Wait, a box of pubes? <laughs> he had a, a sweet little wooden box with, with beautiful carvings, and inside of it was his pubes. <laughs> like, a, like a cigar box of pubes? Yeah, had rare jewels embedded <laughs> into it. Like green gems. <laughs> Flawless emeralds and rubies. <laughs> On a bedrock of pubes. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. That's a horrible mental image, but it's a beautiful thing. They were horrible people. <laughs> she also stole okay, so, a cat uh, from somebody. I know. What do we do now? They're valuable yeah. materials to sell in the in the Where's black that? market. Yeah. You guess we'll scour the web for more rat games. Have you ever had a pet rat? No. I had a pet uh, Russian dwarf hamster. Really? I had an, did you really? an did. infestation yeah. of rats. I had a hamster old... called Nikki, and it died. How did he die? It just died of, uh, old age. It was three. Yeah, you usually live about two or three. It kept chewing tumors off of its asshole. Oh, yeah, you told me that, yeah. Um... I fucking killed a rat with a belt buckle one time. <laughs> I had the horrible. picture on my phone for a long time. <laughs> he sent me a picture of his be his bloody belt next to a dead rat bleeding from That's the skull. That's horrible. Yeah, it's like bleeding from its head. It was complete luck, but I'm still, like, proud of it. Oh, I like rats, even if they're disgusting. I mean, they're really shit if you get them, like, in your house, and they yeah. keep- Because, like, you have to kill all of them, or they'll just fucking reproduce, and you'll have to start all over. Yeah, that sucks. It sucks that they're vermin.
If only. But uh, they were sperm. One That's time I stupid. went. I w- <laughs> one time I went to England with my mom and dad yeah. to stay at their friend's house, yeah. and they had a daughter, and she had a pet rat, and uh, I was like, "Can I play with the rat?" And she was like, "No." And then she left her room, and then I, I opened the rat's door to grab it, and it just ran out and bolted for the window, and I fucking grabbed the f- the the rat. And it started screaming in my hand. <laughs> oh my god. And uh, it scared the actual shit out of me. Its <laughs> eyes were bugging out of its head. And then uh, <laughs> it was like kicking and like wriggling its head around. And I was actually really scared. And I tried shoving it back into the cage, but it put all of its four legs on the side of the cage. <laughs> and it was strong enough so that I couldn't get it into the cage. And I was, my heart was pounding out of my chest that he was going to bolt for the door after he bit me or As something. You, like, you're afraid you're going to drop the rat? Yeah. And then the girl came back up, and I shoved them back into the cage just on time for her not to see. But I felt bad. That's a horrible this, story, this, but I find girl, it hilarious. This is the girl that was named Red Eater, right? No. Little Red Eater? Reticia? She's actually really nice. Okay, who's more he's evil? Old and, he's old and senile. Who's more evil? Bill Cosby or Hitler? He probably doesn't even remember raping anybody. What about Omega Fat Albert? <laughs> What does that even mean? <laughs> his Omega Fat. That's when his inner demon unleashes itself. What if um, Fat Albert had a twin? It's when he becomes a Shimigami. What if he had a twin called Saturated Fat Albert? Would he, Saturated. Would he look skinnier or fatter? He would be made of. He would be like a water balloon. He would be. What did Ryan around. call him? Black Albert. <laughs> <laughs> he is black. Somewhere there's a white Albert. It's true. Somewhere in this crazy world, there is a White Albert. This crazy old mixed-up universe of ours. What if they, like, rebranded Fat Albert as Disgusting Albert? <laughs> Why would they do that? Because he is disgusting. Chris. What? I bet you every time he uses the bathroom, like, people have to fucking hold their breath for 16 minutes before they go in. Why? I'm losing out on all those Because he fucking makes a mess. <laughs> Why? <laughs> when I was at Comic Con, like, hey, I was hey, bursting. Hey, don't go in there today. When I was at Comic Con, I was bursting to go to the oh. toilet, and I had to wait for like 20 minutes because these three fucking and someone obese, cosplaying fat as Fat Albert came out. We're all in the stalls shitting at the same time, and it, it was 20 minutes long. And you're not supposed to take that long taking a shit. Chris, it's because people do that stupid fucking thing where they sit in the toilet stall and they go, "Oh, there's other people in the bathroom. Oh, I'm gonna hide in here until it- they leave." <laughs> It's the fucking worst, and everybody does it. I don't do it. When I'm done shitting, I stand up and wipe my ass and I will leave! How could you? What? How could you? Lying like that? Lie? Not I. I don't lie! <laughs> Why do people do that so often? You just gave the reason. But what? Why is it's really reason? rude, though, because I was fucking bursting the shit, and then they were just sitting in there blasting their f- morbidly obese asses off. <laughs> morbidly obese. Because we went to- what was it? We went to a restaurant a while back, and there was a guy seriously in there for 40 minutes straight, yeah. refusing to leave the bathroom. Why do people do that? Mm-hmm. I really like going to the bathroom and hearing people fart. It's the funniest shit. <laughs> It's so fucking funny. Every day of my life, I hope I can go to a public <laughs> restroom. <laughs> it's funny because you don't know them, and you just know they're really embarrassed while they're doing it. Probably not. They probably don't even know you're there. They do. <laughs> do you ham it up in public? Do you go, oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? I get embarrassed. I always leave a, a, a faucet running while I'm shitting. I used to. I don't bother anymore. When, uh, when one, you fart, do you go, Auga, ho, ho. <laughs> One time I had a bunch of people over to my house to watch movies, and I was like, excuse me, I need to use the bathroom. And I sat down in the toilet, and instantly it was just like... <laughs> 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 and everyone just started laughing, and I was so embarrassed. Because I was like, Chris. I turned on the tap, they won't be able to hear me, but it was like the loudest fart. Hey, Chris. <laughs> what? Everyone fucking shits. I know, Who but it was, just, it was so loud, and everyone laughed at me. They laughed with you. <laughs> Chris, it's funny. But Sandra was there. She's a nice little lady. Did she we also had to use our bathroom. So Farting in yeah, front of girls is I the worst. For that. Did Sandra laugh? Yeah, everyone laughed. Okay, well then there's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds really funny. <laughs> it was funny. I like farting. I think probably one of my favorite things is waking up in the morning and letting out that first fart. Yes. 
after I died twice. Rodrigo, edit in uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 footage for no reason. <laughs> That's not funny. Okay, there it is on screen. <laughs> I'm really, uh, I'm very happy that Rayman took off of the series because it seems like it would have been one of those things that was so good that it just didn't, you know? It did not. The first game is too fucking hard. I'm surprised anyone liked yeah. it. Yeah. It is. It's very, very hard. I grew up on it. Though. No, I did too. It was my first PlayStation One game. Was I bought it. Really? it I bought it before I had a PlayStation One, and I waited months to get I think a PlayStation One. It was like 1. my third or fourth game, but uh, I played it all the time. Let me get. I. I bet I know where you got stuck. Mm, on the music level. Yep. Yeah. That's where everybody got stuck. Do you want to know the story of me buying my first PlayStation One game? It was my birthday, and my mom said, "What do you want?" And I said, "Uh." A PlayStation game. And she was like, <laughs> "Why were you like a little poor boy?" <laughs> I don't know. And then because like, I played a PlayStation at my friend's house, or he wasn't even my friend. He was my mom's friend's son, who was like 18, and I was like fucking five or some shit. And uh, he was why can't I get the stupid thing? He was playing Grand Theft Auto. No, he wasn't. No, what Julian, was go go off ah! to the left. Yeah. He was playing something, but when I went into the store. I was like, I watch a PlayStation game. Oh my god, that didn't get it. Can you jump a little bit higher? But anyways, so I was in the store, right? Right? Yeah, you were in the store. And I came here to fuck. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, but I was like, I watch a PlayStation game. And then the guy was like, well, uh, Ray Rayman is the new game. And I was like, <laughs> the new game. And, He's and pretty fucking awesome. It was Extra Vision. And then, yeah, and he, I was like, what is Rayman? He was like, I, I Why are you a little demon child? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I I'll show you Rayman. And he put on Rayman, and he's like, See, you, you go here, and you talk to this woman, and she's like the fairy of the forest. And I was like, I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I bought it. And then, and then, and then months later, <laughs> I played it, and I hated it. <laughs> and I got to the music level, and I stopped playing it. I love this game. <laughs> What, what, what is the worst things that happened in your schools growing up? Um, death. Yeah, I mean, that happens yeah, in everyone's- Yeah, Dingo's had a, a good amount of, like, awful things happen at school. I don't think I really had anything that bad Someone happen. always dies at school. Yep. I never went to schools that were big enough, is the thing. I went really? to schools with, like, maybe 50 kids at the most. The- I did- I went to public school twice for two years of my life, and that's hmm. not really enough to- The shittiest to one I remember is that a kid got murdered, and uh- Holy fuck, really? And there was a huge, like, m memorial wall that was in the hallway, and because no one really knew the kid, because he was kind of awkward, it was just empty, no one wrote anything on it, and no. people were just shit-talking the whole time. The fuck? And it's just like, wow, that's cool, you- you can't- can't hold off on that a little bit, maybe? <laughs> People are fucking assholes in school. Well, especially around that time. Around that window, that's the point where you think like, Oh, fuck everyone, I'm above this. Do you guys like slugs? Slugs are okay. Slugs are nice. I hate slugs. Chris, how come you hate creepy crawlies? I don't know. I'm scared of them. I like little beetles. They're fun. My sister ruined my life. She turned me into like a just slug. unrelated. I used to love bugs, and then she made me fucking terrified of them because of how terrified she was of them. Uh, What'd she do? She, she probably in, just freaked out. She every came time. in and she whispered in your ear, "Chris, they're coming to get you." Yeah, she. There was a time when um we had like bricks outside of our house just because we had extra bricks left over, and my mom was like, "Move those bricks." And she she casted a brick to bug spell on it. No. And it terrified you. No, I picked up a brick and there was a huge, a huge, huge black spider on it, and I was just like, "Cool." But she screamed so loud, and she was so genuinely terrified that she almost had like a panic attack, and it made me afraid of them. And this was back in- this is back before Ireland even had any like actual biting spiders. Now they do, for some reason. That always happens, that- One bug got introduced and it bites, yeah. and before that, Ireland had no biting spiders. Do you remember the 18s? No! No, they were an ABBA cover Hey, band. Dragon Ball fan who just got really <laughs> angry, calm down. It's not that big of a deal. Yes, he's it gonna, is. He's gonna go Super Saiyan. <laughs> he did what? it. I was playing- That's the noise he made. I was playing VR chat, and uh, I went into the- into the- the great pug, you know, the- the bar in the game. 
and there was a guy uh, doing Goku. He, he had Goku skin, and he had a really good mic, and he was doing the perfect Goku impression. And it really felt like I was talking to Goku. It was Aww. fucking really weird. Did you, what, did you feel embarrassed? No, like, I, I, I thought he was using a soundboard because his microphone was so good, and it was such a spot-on impression. I went in, and he's like, Hello, sir, how are you doing today? And I was like, uh, good. And then he was like, well, you can take a seat right over there. I'm like, wait, I thought that was a soundboard. And he was like, no, I'm me. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> but it was like the weirdest, like, it, it really fu- I'm- I'm just, <laughs> I felt like a kid, like, talking to Goku. It was the weirdest thing. <laughs> I'm just imagining you, like, shutting down. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do I say? I've, I've never run into a situation where I'm like, that could really be him. Like, that could actually be the voice actor. I'm talking to the Spongebob. It was spot on. That wasn't the real Goku, I'm sorry to say. It might have been. How do you know? I don't know. What? I don't know anything. What makes you feel like it's the real Goku? Because... Yeah, Goku's gotta be real somewhere. <laughs> Especially on the VR chat. out there in the multiverse. How can such a likable character not be real? You know? <laughs> if someone came up with him, they must have <clears throat> met him. Oh, Magikarp is my name. Killing myself is my game. Oh. I, I would hate to find out Goku's real. <laughs> Why? That's the last character I want to know is real. Why? People Why? that strong Why? existing? Why? Something bad's gonna happen. He, he I mean, saves the Earth like four, 14 also, times. Also, bad people come to the Earth to kill the, uh, everybody kill here. Their, kill to kill everybody. all the people <laughs> down on the Earth. They're gonna kill the <laughs> They're coming down to kill us because of the Goku. What would be the funniest way to stop a baby from crying? Um, by crying. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, you pressure him, <laughs> pressure him socially. <laughs> everybody starts giving him dirty looks. Did I ever tell you guys about the time when my we were having a party at my house in Ireland and all of my family was there, like all my little cousins and stuff, when they were really small children? <laughs> my dad got really drunk. And he was grabbing balloons and giving it to them and then popping them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. He was popping them in their face. That's evil. It was, no, he was really drunk. It was funny. Well, I guess it's turned around. <laughs> it was when you funniest. explain that to the kids, I'm sure they were laughing. <laughs> no, but you don't know my dad. <laughs> it's okay. He's drunk. It's funny because my dad is like the <laughs> it's nicest. It's actually a really funny story. <laughs> my you dad. see, he's intoxicated. <laughs> My dad is the nicest, sweetest, like, shyest, like, guy ever. He's such a good guy, and he was just doing that. It's the funniest shit. Did he punch out a guy on a ride because he got scared of him? Yeah, it was on the Van Helsing. <laughs> and the little midget ran up to him, and my dad got scared and slapped him. Slapped him? My dad's a good guy! You're painting my dad like he's a bad He's like the, the you greatest You just told guy. the story. I didn't even come I know, up with but that one. I what? believe he's a good guy if he's willing to dress up as Bart Simpson for his son. Yeah. You know what? He was vanquishing he the evil monsters. He didn't fucking do that. You I made know. That, <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> Chris, this all happened. Julian, your acting's getting too good. <laughs> That's a laugh. <laughs> that did happen, though, where I, he was like, I'll take you to see The Simpsons. You shut up. Yeah, and he dressed up like The Simpsons. <laughs> All of them. Yeah. <laughs> he, he did a whole routine. He edited he to, a short film He had together. to run out of the room to change. It was change. like The Nutty Professor. He had to play every <laughs> Simpsons family member. <laughs> that would be cool. Have you ever had a routine about killing somebody? I mean, if you want to get away with it, you kind of have to. Yeah. And I'm not in jail. You have to plan it very, very carefully. <laughs> but that's all I'll say. I did actually have not to kill somebody, but I fucking... I, when I was in, like, middle school, there was this guy that... He was in our friends group, but nobody liked him. There was, like, one guy in our friends group that, uh... That kinda liked him and was friends with him. And you thought you'd um, ingratiate yourself to the rest of the group by taking care of him, huh? No, no, actually, <laughs> actually the opposite. I, I had shit with the guy, and like every every day was just like, I would just get angrier at him. And I was actually full scale planning to just out of nowhere just beat his ass like in the middle of like lunch, and that was just, it just so happened that that was just the day he got new friends and stopped hanging out with us. <laughs> what was he doing? Um, he was like. He was like this like weird puny 
kind of piece of shit guy, and he would always like talk shit about my clothes, which I I don't like. As a kid, I had no concept of like what looked good or what looked bad. I was like, caring about clothes is for girls. So not only did I not care, but it was extra annoying that he was like, your clothes look like they came from Ross, and it was like, oh, you little piece of shit, you and, son of a bitch. And so like he like poured he like poured like some water on me one time, and I like poured juice on him, and he like freaked out because it got juice on his clothes. And I was like, at that point, I'm like, I'm gonna beat this guy unconscious. And then, yeah, uh, <laughs> the, 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 pretty much the day I- and, and it wasn't like it was the next day, either. It was like, I was, like, thinking about it for, like, a week. And then there was uh. one day where I was like, I was like, every day I was like doing push-ups and, like, getting ready to just punch the fuck out of this guy. <laughs> and then he just stopped showing up. It was it was like the weirdest thing. It probably saved me from getting like expelled or something. So I should be tell any of your No, I did not tell anybody up? I was going to do it. I oh. just, it just so happened that maybe he just kind of got the the picture that like nobody liked him cuz I, I would I would openly like kind of talk shit and uh, there were there were like three or four other people that hung out with us and at least like one or two of the other ones didn't like him. Well, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool how you almost did it but didn't. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty badass. But uh I would have <laughs> Imagine though, no, what if, what I, I would change the entire course of your life. It might. Well, no, I was young and I was like eleven. Yeah, so but was, like you, you think you were beating him up, but then you'd like wind up punching him like in the throat and collapse his larynx, <laughs> and he gets hospitalized, and you wind up in juvie. And like, <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Tom, okay. please make a life pact with your friend Christopher, please, <laughs> please. Why? Please, Toma, please. What's the pact? Um, that from- from this day on, now and forevermore, you'll be in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> that was just the lyric from a Phil Collins song. How about if one of you dies, both of you die, like in Dragonheart? Uh, I've never seen Dragonheart. Oh, well, that's basically the premise of Dragonheart, is a guy and a dragon do I, that. I actually heard very recently... Yeah, that there's a shit ton of movies, we yeah, talked yeah, about we, it. We oh, talked about okay, it, yeah. alright, alright, alright. Right. But, that, um, was, that was the premise of it, is that Sean Connery is a dragon and a guy, a guy shares a heart with him. I don't know. No, I tried watching it as a kid, but my dad walked in and he said, Dragonheart, Dragon Fart! <laughs> <laughs> and then he walked out and I didn't, I didn't want to watch it anymore. So make it was movie. that the last time you saw him? That was the last time I saw my dad. Also, the, one of the sequ- I, I did actually have all the sequels like you mentioned, and he walked in again and said, More like, f fart sequel. And he walked out again. <laughs> he walked back into your life for a single moment. <laughs> that one didn't happen. That one didn't happen. You think the first one happened? <laughs> he came back from getting cigarettes just to see that you were still watching Dragonheart. <laughs> all the it sequels. Like, clearly, clearly he never learned. Did you know SeaWorld ah! was gonna have a spin-off? It was gonna be called Sand World. Really? And it was just full of sand. I, I believe it. <laughs> sand World. <laughs> Do you wanna hear what? a funny story about SeaWorld? Yeah, go on. Yeah, go ahead. We were on the train to Comic Con, and somehow SeaWorld came up in conversation, and there was this really scary looking hobo guy sitting across from us with his family. He's like, SeaWorld? Ah! They released one of those great white orcas back into the sea after it bit a girl! And we were like, yeah? <laughs> He's like, if they- if that- if that whale bit my daughter, oh, he got really mad and flustered. He's like, what are I, he's got a taste for blood now! We're like, okay. Taste for blood. Then he got off the train and was screaming on the way out. And then he turned into an orca and <laughs> swam away. It was me all along! <laughs> His name was Mr. Whaleman. <laughs> I don't believe that. <laughs> Did you ask for his name? Ah, uh, Mr. Whaleman. Yeah, I said, who are you, Mr. Whaleman? Very said, nice yes. to meet you. We, we went to get curry. I love your cartoons. <laughs> we went to get curry. For a second, I thought he was homeless, but I think he was just a teenager. No, he was just some punk teenager wanting to be annoying. He Where? Said, he, we, I forget. We went to get curry, and he just sat down next to us, and he goes, hey, can I have a piece of that chicken? And he kept asking it for Yeah, he kept minutes. saying it over and over went, until. Dude, dude, dude. Can, what? Can chicken? And he sat next to us for like five minutes and we were just ignoring him. And then he got up and went to a different table to bug somebody. And then he had like four friends with him and they just left. Were they laughing? No, but they were holding drinks, so obviously they had money. They were just yeah. going to be annoying. What the fuck? That sounds pretty funny. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow, look! We're oh, the windmills. Did we talk about the evil pizza man who poisoned us? No, let's talk about him. Okay. Tell me what he looked like. Uh... No eyebrows. No <laughs> really? hair. Uh, really? He didn't have eyebrows? No. I never got to look at him. I was just there while, you, while you it to, happened. Did you get to hear him at least? 
Not really. I saw you put down the pizzas on the ground, and I was like, why is he doing that? Because he told me to. He, this is a better view. We ordered a pizza uh, two months ago from a place, and the delivery guy came, and uh, even though it was a really normal tip that we gave him, he just came up and said, yes, bro, thank, thank you for tip. Thank you, bro, for tip. I really appreciate the tips. And I was just like, oh, did you... Did you not get the tip or something? Because Grubhub messes up sometimes. They don't actually... If you do tip through credit card, sometimes they don't give it. So I was going to give him cash out pocket. He's like, no, no, I got tip. I got tip. Very good pizza. You're going to enjoy pizza. Thank you so much for tip. And I guess he was just mad about the tip. He wanted more. Yeah. Even though it was an average size tip, it wasn't a problem. I, uh... I'm not I'm not a I'm not a turd about that kind of thing and I was even willing to give him more but mm. as soon as he closes the door I open the pizza box and he fucking like threw the pizza Oh yeah, it was fucking mangled. Typically if they make small mistakes with orders, I don't call in a complaint or anything. I don't tell them like can you But it was like literally just a pile. Yeah, it was it was completely inedible. It was like somebody stuck a fucking egg beater into a pizza <laughs> box. And that's what you get. I I I felt bad about doing it, even though he did fuck the pizza up intentionally. I ended up just, I contacted Grove up and I said, "Hey, can we get a refund at least on the pizza? Because this, I, I sent them a picture. And I said like he he like threw it. I don't know what happened, but it's been it's been ruined and we can't even eat it. And they contacted me back and said, "Oh yeah, uh, we we got you a full refund. Apparently he's a new employee and he's already received multiple complaints today." So, I got scared then because I'm like, is he gonna fucking come back now? Like, is he gonna get fired and now he's gonna come back because he knows where we live or something? But, uh, I, I tried to keep that in my memory to never order from there again, but that night when we were recording Pikmin, we ordered from there because I wasn't paying attention. We ordered pizza from there, and I was about to forget that, that all that happened, except he showed up, and as he was handing me the pizza and everything, he said, Put, put pizza on the floor. Open pizza. And I just said, what? He said, Check the pizza for me. Show me pizza. And I I look up at him, and I... It, I he was just, looking down at you? I It fucking hit me, and I realized it's him. It's two months later. He kept that in memory. He remembered us. <laughs> and he put me on the spot about that. He said to open the pizza box to show it to him. He says, yes, pizza looks good, right? Very good pizza. <laughs> And uh, I remember turning to you, Chris, and saying, I don't trust this pizza. Yeah, I know. And I said, what are you talking about? You're being paranoid. And what happened, Chris? <laughs> we, we all ate the pizza, and then I woke up at 6 a.m. that day. I, I usually wake up at fucking 4 p.m. Like, well, not all the time, but this week you I woke been. up really early with awful stomach pain. Yeah, we, we, I woke up at, like, 6 a.m., and I went, Ugh! and I just jumped out of bed and ran downstairs, <laughs> sat on the toilet, and I was just like sitting there in pain. And I, I could hear my body doing this like weird shit. It sounded that like it sounded like a super soaker blasting like a stream into a, a bucket of water, but inside my body. So I was like, <laughs> like inside of me, and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm so sorry. And I just started spraying fucking pure water out of my ass. And I was like, oh, and I was like in so much pain. And, and it went on for like the entire day. It was like nonstop. You probably got the stomach flu. I threw up from it. Oh. It made me really sick. Okay, you, so what do you think happened? I have did, no idea. I don't. How do you even. I what thought do you, you all had diarrhea. What do you put in a yeah, pizza? Julian, you had diarrhea. But I always have diarrhea. <laughs> what do you put in a pizza to make it. to make somebody sick? I don't know. Uh. Cum. That doesn't make any. That's not gonna make you sick. He was wee wee. <laughs> it's poopy. Like, it wouldn't be, like, fucking bleach or something, right? Well, I need to go to a I service don't know. station. I actually don't know. Oh, fuck. Oh, did you get lost? I got the, a speeding violation. The fact that all of us got sick from it. Maybe that pizza just stunk. Maybe it was shitty cheese or something. I don't know what it was. Maybe it wasn't that nice man's fault. Maybe he just looked like a super sane and he just gets <laughs> misjudged. Chris. Why do we say that, Chris? What? Chris, he, he <laughs> looked like a super saiyan. You said that. I said that. Oh, was it you? Because he had the super saiyan 3 bro. Fuck. Going. So it made him so intimidating. But he... I suspect it's him, Chris, because he fucking remembered us, and that's the craziest part to me. That was two months ago, and somehow he kept that in his memory. 
He was just, uh, he was goofing around. Lyle, tell the story about how you buried a kid in Minecraft, uh... Whoa. Uh, Minecraft blocks, and then... Harass him on a forum. You ever tell that story? Is that real? D that, not exactly that, but yeah, that is <laughs> that is more 80, or less eighty percent about it. Yeah, yeah. Basically, so basically, this is old school, old school Minecraft. Like before, it had a proper online service. Ooh. Like really early. Like to get into a server, you had to go on a forum and get the IP of the server and manually enter it. So, me and some asshole friends of mine fucking went onto this forum and we found something described as a Christian light <laughs> RP so, uh, server. So basically... So you the, literally did that whole, this is a Christian RP server. Basically, I don't know how they found it, I, I wasn't the one that found it, but... Uh, basically what happened was, we... we fucked up the whole entire thing. Oh, Lyle. <laughs> oh, I know the story. I'm actually surprised. <laughs> but every time you do tell it, I, 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 I feel sick to my stomach about the evil that you've done. <laughs> Go ahead. So basically, we just fucked up the whole thing, and there was, uh, there was one dude that saw everything happen. <laughs> like, we, we fucked with the whole entire thing well, after did, the did, mods well, left. Yeah, I was gonna say and there was one hour, guy, yeah. there was one guy that was running around watching all of it and freaking out, going like, I'm gonna tell the mods! I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you! Uh, <laughs> and so, I went on the forum, I went on the, uh, the, the thread about the server, and I blamed it on him. Yeah. And, uh, also my character was, like, the Monopoly man, so I- I spoke in, like, Old Atlantic English. I was like, I do say, my good friends, this individual is not to be trusted! And so, I don't think anyone bought it, but the- the key thing about it was the dude thought that people were buying it. So the fact that I was blaming it on him, he was fucking, like, freaking out about it. They're, they oh. were, like, they were, like, making these long, like, refutation posts of the things that I was saying, like, Uh, thirdly, if you look here, you could see evidence such that- And I was like, I've been framed, I swear. For so somehow I get them to buy this, and I go back into the <laughs> server, and, like, I get whitelisted to go back in. Uh, and then old Minecraft, I don't know if it still does this, if you run into the distance, it'll, uh, it, it'll, like, expand the map and it'll <laughs> yeah. fucking slow everything down Oops. for everybody. So, because there were actual mods there, I just snuck off and started doing that. And then, uh, they realized what I was doing, and since the mod didn't know how to use his fucking modding tools, he couldn't ban me, and he was like, "This guy's hacking. He's a uh, he's. I I've never seen anything like this." <laughs> so the, what what he could do was he could fucking teleport me back to you know where you spawn. Yeah. So he kept doing that, and he built a box of I forget what it's called in Minecraft. The shit Obsidian that you can't order? break. Yeah. When you dig all the way down, oh, you can't shit. break it. He built a box of that, <laughs> and then he te tried teleporting me to to the box. But since he was fucking inside of it, it kept putting me on top of the box. Uh, and they were like, whoa, he must be speed hacking through the- It was like, it, it was, I was getting like accused of doing like this fucking high level hacking, the likes of which they'd never seen before because this fucking guy didn't understand how the game he was <laughs> moderating worked. And then yeah, like, I, 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 I had a spy do some reconnaissance and there was like a whole entire, uh, there was like a whole entire section of like the the facts like they had like rules of the server and signs Ooh. on the uh, as soon as you entered and there was like a whole sign dedicated to like if you see the hacker known as Squeeble <laughs> never <laughs> like fucking it, it was yeah it was some Be bullshit warned. yeah it was, <laughs> that's hey, the you, only time I've had fun on Minecraft the rest of it I fucking hate it only, it's not the only time we've had fun harassing somebody to tears <laughs> bringing a child the the, the the menace the societal menace known as Squeeble has brought a child to tears yo old old school internet was uh, that that was the real shit that was the hard shit people didn't treat it like it was their fucking living room like they do now. Like, you had to try really hard to fuck with somebody on the internet, because everyone was like, who cares, it's just the internet. Now everybody's like, I would argue more sensitive on the internet than they are oh. in real life. Like, if you said oh, something yeah. to, to somebody in real life that would get them on an internet tirade, like, I guarantee half of them wouldn't even fucking say anything it back you, to you. It would make you, like, mildly uncomfortable in real life. Also, yeah, people, yeah. people are also more bold. You yeah. see, you have a of people being both more sensitive and more bold, so... If you had two people who would have a big Twitter uh, argument in the same room, they'd probably exchange oh, two fuck. conversations or something. When did you stop believing in Santi? Let me guess, I never believed Santi, I'm too smart. Uh, I would imagine the first time I saw my parents.
Really? Yeah. Oh. When did you see them? What do you mean? You mean see them laying at the presents? Yeah. Um, my mom and dad broke it to me one day when I was out on town with them. <laughs> they broke down crying and said, we can't <laughs> lie to you anymore! No, they laughed in my face! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, what? My... What? Did they rub it in? Like, ha ha, your no. hopes and dreams are gone! It was me, my mom, and my sister, and we were out shopping. My sister said something about Santa not being real, and then I said, Wait, what?! <laughs> and then they both looked around at me slowly, and then started laughing in my face. <laughs> I was just like, what the hell?! And it, it broke my heart. I'm sorry, your innocence was dashed, Chris. It gotta happen at some point. I really hate that video where it was the prank and the dad has the Xbox box that he gives to his kid. And I think it's just clothes inside, right? That's not funny. They do that to screw with him and he just starts crying and they're like, Oh, he's crying! It's like, that's, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't fuck hey. with the kid. Yeah, no, that's, I've never found that kind of shit funny. I think it was for Christmas too, right? Yeah. That, that one's awful, I hate that one. <laughs> 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 The worst thing to get a, a little boy on Christmas is fucking clothes. Little boys want... Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> get them on damn Xbox. Chris, have you ever gotten in a bar fight? Has uh, anyone ever been at a bar and just looked at you and was like, uh, What'd you say? I've been like in 90 of them. Really? No. <laughs> what did I look like to you? Oh, I forgot that you have the charge attack. Yeah, but you don't have to start the fight. People times, uh, people will oftentimes try to start one just, you know, with people. One, one time I was doing a, a convention. People, people. Yeah. This was years ago, but uh, I was just doing like a panel, and then this like little like 12 year old Irish kid stood up. Like it was in Ireland, but yeah. this little Irish like Dublin kid was like, Do you want to fight? Like his question was, Do you want to fight me after? I was like, No, that's okay. Because <laughs> Irish people like to fight. Yeah, I don't. What's wrong with you? That's why you ran away from Ireland. And you're Pretty allergic much. to Guinness too. What the fuck is up? My my methods of uh, living are that if if I don't have to hit people, <laughs> I, don't, I just don't like fighting because I'm like, it's not worth the aftermath of like having to get new teeth. Or when you lived in Ireland, <laughs> did you ever witness a bar fight? Um yeah no I no dude, every fucking like week there's a big fight in Ireland like it's retarded. Yeah. Like, uh, I used to live on the main street of Wexford, and I would just, like, look out my window every Saturday night. Yeah. I had my bed pushed up against the window so I could lie on my front and just stare at people walking <laughs> down the street. Because people watching is really fucking fun. Yeah. But especially on a Saturday night in Wexford, because people will fight all the fucking time. Dear it was Lord. So there, there'd be times where people would fuck on the street, they'd fight on the street. <laughs> and, like, I'll tell you two good stories. One guy was, uh... He had a, a Liverpool tattoo on his arm. This big, fat, stupid idiot. Like, um... Is that, is that, is that like a call to action? Like, if you have a Liverpool tattoo... If you have a football tattoo, tattoo, and, you yeah, football and you walk tattoo, into yeah. a, a fucking Irish bar... I, I honestly think these guys are the, are the stupidest, scummiest motherfuckers on the earth, because they know what they're doing. They're yeah. just the trying fucking to... fucking soccer hooligans? Yeah, yeah, soccer yeah. hooligans. I fucking hate... People who take soccer in particular too seriously because they're the biggest, stupidest morons on the planet. But, so, there was this big fat moron with a Liverpool tattoo, and he had his girlfriend hanging off of his arm, and he's standing in the middle of the street with his arms folded, looking, like, left and right. Yeah. And she, like, I, like my window was open so I could hear every word they were saying. She's like, can we please go home? No, give me a minute, give me a minute. He's waiting for people to walk down the street, uh. and, and then a guy walks past him and goes, Hey! Do you like Liverpool? Oh, God. And the guy was like, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, and then the guy kept walking. Another guy came over. You like Liverpool? No, man. Liverpool fucking sucks. And then the guy's like, Whoa, What do you say? And then, oh, like, he's God. trying to start fights. And his girlfriend's mortified. And it's like, this is probably the biggest waste of space I've ever seen yeah. in my life. So that's one fucking guy trying to start fights. I don't know if I ever told the story about, uh... The, the smash bottle on my door. Did I ever tell that story? No. I mean, not to me. Oh my God, but... it's so fucking funny. I think I've told this before, actually. I haven't heard it. Okay, I'll tell you anyway. Fucking, uh... So I used to have this roommate, and he, he's a cool guy, but he's got really scummy friends. And, uh... He, he used to bring this guy over to the house. He was, like, the most pathetic, like... <laughs> It's just complete waste of a human well, you being. You just cut right to the chase there, buddy. No, he, like, I don't feel bad, because he was just, like, an idiot. Like, he... He was this guy, so... I was having, like, a bunch of friends over one night, right? Yeah. My, my roommate's cool, he gets all my friends, but he's like, Can I bring this guy over? I'm like, Ugh. Yeah. Like, he, he's gonna bring every conversation to a standstill, for yeah. sure. So he brings him over, and we're all watching videos and laughing our asses off, right? And he's like, 
oh, can I put a video on? I'm just like, uh, okay. And he puts on a video of his friend playing a, a guitar, and you can't hear what he's saying, and it's like the worst recording ever, and it's nothing, right? And, yeah. he, and he's laughing his head off at it, and no one else is. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna put back on the other stuff now. Yeah. And he's like, wait, wait, wait. And we're just sitting there in silence waiting for something, and then he laughs, and we're just like, what? Wait, what, what happened? You, yeah. Like, oh, you just don't get it. It's like, fuck you. Like, <laughs> just so fucking waste of time, right? But anyway, I was like, I fucking hate this guy. He's so annoying. He's so fucking annoying. Uh, <laughs> right? So then he comes over. No, so he comes over and then he leaves, right? I'm like, thank fucking God he's gone, right? So him and my roommate go out to club for the night, right? All right. So then my roommate doesn't come back that night. And then uh, at like 2 or 3 a.m., this fucking guy shows up outside my door, I'm like, he's knocking on the door, and I look down, and he doesn't see me, but I see him, right? He doesn't know my head is hanging out the window looking at him. Yeah. He's like, Oi! Can I come in? Oh, is Liam there? Did he, Oh, so he thought another one of his friends was at your place? He thought my, my roommate was there. Okay. And then I was just like, oh, fuck, I'm not even gonna answer. I'm just gonna, like, just sit here in the dark and not even, like, let him know I'm here. Right? Yeah. So now I'm sitting there looking at him. Uh, uh, and then the, these two fucking like scary dudes are walking past coming home from the club, right? And then uh, they go, oh man, you're right. They're being nice to him. Yeah. He, he, he turns around and goes, fuck off, f it's right. What? And then they go, what? And they, they come over and start beating the, <laughs> the ever-loving shit out of him, right? I mean, well-deserved. Yeah, no, they, they beat him within an inch of his life. They're stepping on his head, right? Okay, maybe not that much, No, no, but... no, 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 right? And I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuck! And I, I have my- I take my phone out of my hand, I'm about to call the police, right? But then they walk away, and then he goes, Fucking assholes, right? And, and then they come back, they grab a glass bottle and smash it off my door, right? So there's broken glass all over my door, and then... I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ, and then I'm like, hello, police, 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 like, come, like, yeah. there, there's a guy getting the shit beat out of him on the main street of Wexford. I don't like the guy, he's kind of an asshole, no, but, you know. I, I didn't say any of that, <laughs> but by the time they showed up, he had left, and I was like, you are not coming into my house, you are a fucking nightmare. He did, he did bring that on himself. Yeah, he did, he's an idiot, he's like a complete fucking moron. But, uh, yeah, I hated that guy. <laughs> Dude, you know you're talking about how, just in general, how people get fucking insane about soccer and stuff. Yeah. But, you know, there there was that article, or no, not an article, some, some bitch on fucking Twitter was, like, making fun of that guy for crying about that video game. Yeah. There, there was that thing, what was he crying about again? The Star Wars. Yeah, he was really happy about the trailer for Star Wars. To it's be like, okay, look. Yes, I, it was cringy as fuck. It is cringy as fuck, but, like, no so, one, he doesn't deserve to be bullied over something he right. likes. But it is really I, lame, I don't and he know should. what you guys are talking about. Is this about? guy who uploaded a video of him crying like a fucking moron? He didn't moron. upload it. He oh. was doing it on a stream, and somebody pulled it from oh, his stream. okay. They they played the trailer for the new Star Wars, and this guy was crying watching it. Like, it, he just, he was so enraptured with what was going on. Yeah. However, somebody took a clip of that, put it on uh, Twitter or whatever, and this girl reposted it in yeah. something like, this is wrong, something like, you know, with men like this today, no wonder, you know, fucking they have a hard time meeting girls or some or whatever there's like yeah. a whole new race of men that will never breed again yeah. and here's here's an example of it yeah and the thing is as if, we, if you've ever been to a sports event or know sports people whether it's uh soccer or european football or american football or baseball or any sport fucking those dudes fucking cry about their it's shit the same too. shit yeah weeping tears on their knees, yeah. flipping over televisions. It's the same <laughs> fighting, shit. Fighting each other and oh, yeah. literally killing people right. over all, their teams that they support. All fanatics are the same fucking right. thing. Yeah. And yet, it's like, that didn't get a mention? You're just gonna make fun of the dude who likes the the movie? Fuck off, you, bitch. You know what I hate most about like the sports stuff? Is that these people get into massive arguments and they get all like passionate and patriotic about their team. Yeah. When these like super sports stars will quit their team at the drop of a hat for more, for more money, money. And they don't give a fuck about their fans. Like, they're, they're like football players that are celebrities are the biggest pieces of shit usually <laughs> But the thing that surprises me is like, you know, you hear about these rich successful uh, Like pro sports players, right? Yeah, like they have all the money in the world. They have all this fame now They've got it all and then they like run like a fucking uh, animal like a dog fighting ring in their basement. <laughs> no, it's yeah, it's or, always the same shit Or they end up shooting some dude like at a club that was hitting on his girl and it's just like what the fuck are you doing? You have everything right now. You you are in the seat of fucking uh I, I don't know man. Just people fucking not appreciating that shit. Oh, there's oh, Did you tell you about that time when I was working at the strip joint and there was a guy who used to come in 
uh, who liked the girls to like be mean to him. <laughs> they no. would, he would pay like good money. Like the girls loved it when he fucking showed up. He was a creep. He, you know, honestly, he wasn't that. <sighs> he he seemed innocent, not innocent enough. He seemed. Whatever. Anyways, he would come in and he'd pay the girls really good money, and they'd do things like make fun of him. But sometimes they'd make him like lick an ashtray in public and oh my shit. God. And that was like his thing. Which way should I go? So up or? Weird. He's just a guy who's into what? Like humiliation. I guess, right? yeah. And it had to be public. Because, you know, a lot of that BDSM stuff, it happens like in a dungeon privately. Yeah. This guy liked it in public. Like he wanted. He'd have to get on yeah, his no, hands and knees. People who are actually shit. into humiliation yeah. want to actually. I've be never seen that though. Humiliated. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's so freaking cool. This is fucking it. This is it. Woo. Dude is probably fucking CEO of some major fucking tech company. It's how it always is. Yeah. yeah the guys that like that the most are usually really powerful people. <gasps> yeah. Mm -hmm. When was the last time that you fell down a flight of stairs? When I was probably six or seven. How did it happen? Um. I don't know, I think it just tripped and fell. Uh-oh. But I never did it again. I have a scar on my face, do you know how I got it? Um... A Buster's Blade? I... No, I wish. <laughs> I tripped and fell because when we moved, I was so excited. I was a little kid, and I was really, really excited that we moved. And I ran up the stairs to the new house, I was so excited, and I tripped and fell. And my tooth pierced through my lip. Oh! And I had to go to the hospital immediately. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, Did I, you cry I, I very split hard. my head open. I, I, oh my god. I had I, a brother I, I who split that his head too. open. Boy. We've been through a lot, haven't we? I we've knew all it, got our little cuts and bruises. I knew a kid growing up, and he said that he split his head open so much times as a kid that he only had one more time left to do it before it would kill him. Jesus. But I don't think that's I true. I wonder how he knew. But yeah, yeah. Like they gave him a, a skull crushing counter or something. <laughs> You can only break your skull open this many times. It has like a little skull icon. I would like that. With a crack in it. I always thought, uh... I always wanted... That opening shot of him flying towards the island that's made out of like robot looks really scary. I love this if you don't touch anything. Was that game Tails made? just gets dropped by like the f***ing Cape Bomber. He's just dropping oh bombs God. on you at all times. Did oh. that game actually have references to the show? I think Eggman in that game was from the show. Oh, like he looked like the the really scary uh, one that was the voice of Winnie the Wait, Pooh. Doctor, uh, Jim Gold Cummings. Jim Cummings. Yeah. Yeah, and he's all like, I am Eggman. That was kind of uh, Sunny M. Eggman. Bring me a sunny job. Actually, he's robot. Show me his pee pee. <laughs> That's true. Hey, he, was, he was just hey, robot. Yes, my Oh yeah, yeah, Snively was Charlie Adler. He was like, Yes, Dr. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Do you want to know something really lame? Yes. When I used to, my mom and dad used to make me do hurling in the morning sometimes, which is a really, like, well, I will say I hate it. I'm sure lots of people love it, but I, I hate it more. Hit me? I hate is, it is so much. Is hurling a pretty Irish thing to do? It's the, it's the Irish sport. What is I hurling? Say. It's kind of like, it's like <laughs> hockey on a field, kind of. Like, you have a ball and a hurl. But anyways, when I used to stand around, I used to just be like, huh, If only I was at home playing video games! And But there was this one cool guy there who would always be like, Man, do you like Sonic? And I'd be like, I love Sonic. And then well, he would start talking to me, being like, Have you seen that new show where there's like a green Sonic and, and a purple Sonic? Sonic Underground. Oh my yeah, god, yeah. Sonic And he, Sonic he was like telling me all about it. He was like, Yeah, and he's got like spiky hair, the green guy, and he can play, he plays guitar. And I was like, This sounds so fucking deadly. And then, uh, <laughs> like, so I was like, I, I, like, I literally like thought of all these like cool Sonic stories in my head, like thinking about like green Sonic and purple Sonic. And I only saw it for the first time like two years ago, and it just shattered everything. It is so bad. It's like the worst show and ever every made. Every character is yeah. voiced by Julia Lyle. Yeah, it's actually kind of funny. Like, and, and the sister's like, "Hey, Tom." Yeah. He's like, "Hey, hey Sonic, what are you doing? Hey, <laughs> Sonic." Uh, yeah, and then uh, Manny's like, "Hey, Sonic." There's that clip of Green Sonic chasing Baby Blue Sonic, and he falls and <laughs> smashes into the ground. <laughs> He starts crying. <laughs> Have you seen any of the the footage of the Knuckles episode? I like, love that Knuckles is like a foot tall. <laughs> yeah, they, like, the proportions are so messed up. It's the worst shots. show ever. And like, yeah. All the songs are terrible, like the songs are the most generic shit, and all Jaleel White singing. 
Where the kids in the barricade. He's always like that. Yeah. It's really good. It's funny because it's like they get it they get a totally person different person to sing Chris. They get like oh god, I don't That's want not that him. I want fire. No, it's some other fucking sounds dude. Sounds like him. It's like what they did with Donkey Kong, where they like got like Donkey Kong in the uh Donkey Kong Country I show. I refuse to believe that they got He's a singer for that singing. guy. He's not singing. It's a completely <laughs> different person. That was, a yeah. perfect, that was a guy they got specifically to sing. I thought the motion capture guy did the singing. <laughs> no, no, they got someone else. That's, That's why he sounds so different. You're ruining everything about oh, my... Oh, it is actually motion capture? Yeah, it's all motion capture. I did not know that. You didn't that. fucking tell from the abnormal movements that are perfect <laughs> to human movement? Whenever they're like constantly <laughs> talking and like they're just saying a basic conversation, all they're constantly ever, jiving. All I ever recognized was that it was bad, not like what made it bad. I love the Donkey Kong show. I as a love kid. the animation. <laughs> I love King Karul, how he's always driving. Yeah, they based Smash King K. Rool on that guy. Yeah, they did. Or Karul in general with his big bloated eyes. Actually, I think yeah. it might be DK. But I'm pretty I guess, sure it's I think based stuff from Donkey Kong Country. It the is game. the one, though. No, you're wrong. It was definitely based more on the show because the games suck and the show is good. <gasps> what? Now you're starting to, you're starting to get red pill. It. Now you're getting it. This <laughs> is the Donkey Kong red pill everyone's been waiting for. Whoa, what's down it's here? It's not a real red pill. It is a real red pill, you're learning! No, it's not. Oh no, f*** <laughs> this. I love the graphics on the houses in this oh, game. Boop. As ugly as a lot of the, like, the Pokemon sprites are and everything, there's a charm to... Yeah, I, I mean, like, I like how simple it is. It's it's super rudimentary, but, like, the, it's appealing. Yeah, I like um, it. Probably do a, a great deal to nostalgia, but... I, I like, it. uh, I liked... What's his name? Ken... Ken Sugimori. Is, I is the I always say that watercolor stuff was so much yeah, fun. I I love a lot of the original. It's so I game. hate that I hate that he switched to the digital stuff. I don't think it looks as fun. It's also the way he draws characters now. They all have like the same face and body. Like everyone is super skinny now. Yeah. They all have the same face. Oh, the care like human characters. Yes. You mean? When I was a really small kid, I used to love the watercolor art. It's just so cool. No, I love. The coolest thing, too, was the original toy line that they had, the little plastic toys you could get. They used to reflect it. <laughs> yeah, they, they'd paint them in a way to make them look similar to the water Yeah, colors. the Pikachu was exactly like that. He yeah, had he had a little white, white spot. Yeah. yeah, it was cool. I but, had it, you know. I I really liked all of those. They didn't bring all of them over here, either. I remember Gengar was also see-through. Yeah, I had that one. I, I had a lot of those little one. figures. I, I only had a handful, because only... The stores near me didn't sell all of them. My mom used to uh, sell them in her store, except they were China versions that were <laughs> pirated. I there was there's a little place that was like uh, an hour off from our house, and they had Japanese import toys, and we had like Dragon Ball Z stuff we got cool. from there. And they they had a Porygon. I was so happy Aww. because Porygon is yeah. one of my favorites from this generation. I had the knockoff version of Porygon, but he looked like fucking garbage. I remember the worst figure I had was Charmander, and he had- I know it's weird that he's on screen. He, he, he had this, <laughs> um... I had the official Charmander toy I got after, but the, the pirate- or the fucking knockoff version I had, his fire on his tail was just a cone. <laughs> it was terrible. He was he was completely I dark red. I remember I had a Charmander toy, but I think I got it from something weird like a cereal box. Hmm. So he, I remember he was pure red, like he wasn't yeah. orange. Oh, maybe, maybe that's what it was. I, I had Gyarados as a figure. He had a little green thing at the bottom that balanced him. I think I remember that. I'm trying to remember my favorite ones. I had Machop, no Machamp, and he looked like fucking. Did you garbage. ever have the bouncy balls that were see through? And there's a little. Pokemon. I did. I had I one. Did and did you yeah. cut it open? No. I, I not on purpose. It had like it was the I bounced it around a lot, so it got a lot of wear and tear. And you know they'd have like the they yeah. get little notches in them, and I'd just start picking at it because I I was I remember, a nervous kid, and I, I always need to do something with my hands. I immediately bought it because they had one with Mewtwo in the middle of it, <laughs> and I because it makes it look bigger because yeah. of what they made it with. I saw it, I was like, holy shit! There's a giant Mewtwo figure in there, <laughs> and then you cut it open. It's just really really tiny. Aww. But everyone I knew did that. Everyone who had those bouncy balls cut them open too. I had a knockoff Mew that looked pretty good. It was white though. They they made an official Mew toy, I remember, because I had one later on. I don't think I had Mewtwo. I had Squirtle. I had Ivysaur. Jeez, I had a, I had a I, lot of I them. remember I got one the Japanese. They came in like boxes. I Dragonite. Them. And the, the cool. box one I got had Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and Venusaur in it. I'd fucking 
I had Ash, but he was stiff, and he he held his hand up with the Pokeball oh, yeah. in it. Oh, yeah! I remember, that was a set, too. I hated it. Misty. I hated playing with it, because he was just a stiff-ass statue that you couldn't bend. I remember I would just... That, that's uh, that's what you describe as a perfect throwing toy. You throw <laughs> it at people because you can't do anything. It's, it's nice and big and it hurts. I had a knockoff Jesse and James and they were really badly painted. <laughs> Her hair was too dark. But I remember uh, with how they painted the one of Ash, the paint would very easily come off. His blue vest, it. yeah. Yeah, so it would start looking like he was just coming undressed. Yeah. <laughs> stuff. Yeah, so weird. Fucking, I'm trying to remember all the ones I had because... They got a lot of playtime, you know what I'm saying? Playtime. Put a few in my ass, you know what I'm saying, Julian? No, I was gonna make that joke. No. I was gonna be the funny man. What would be the best Pokemon toy to shove in your ass, Julian? Uh, Diglett. Yeah, Diglett. <laughs> what about Voltorb? No, because I knew you would lose it in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remember the Emoji movie? I hope you didn't all go to see that. Uh, that mattered. I it saw it for my it. birthday. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I really you did. saw it. Yeah, I got I got really drunk and I watched it for my birthday and I had a blast. I sobered up instantly at the Just Dance part and then I had a horrible time. Yeah. Good I'm... part is though, I got the audience to clap along with me at the end. Oh my <laughs> God, you're a bad man. When Mean and Mean went to see Kings, mm -hmm. and uh, there was this guy on our left, and he was with his fat, fucking nasty bitch wife. I yeah. kept pummeling her down the stairs. No, dur dur during during the during the opening trailers, he was like, "You you want popcorn? Get your popcorn." And she's like, "I don't want popcorn. You go go get some for yourself." And I was like, "If they're gonna do this during the movie, I'm gonna fucking freak out. I'm gonna shout at them." And when he walked through the door, he was like scratching his ass, and then he moved his arm away, and there was a gun sticking out of his pants. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I guess <laughs> I'm not gonna ask bad. him to be quiet, that's kind of scary. Then she stood up in front of the screen and said, Excuse me, everybody, I want popcorn, can you give me some? <laughs> no, during the movie, they wouldn't shut up, they kept going like, Oh, that's funny. <laughs> It's like, FUCK YOU! Chris. And during, uh, wait, 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 uh, what was the last thing? I, the, the one be before that, it was an Armenian man and his wife sitting directly behind me. And every single time and a joke happened- sports cars through the theater. <laughs> <laughs> every time something happened, the man went, What? And his wife would explain it to him, he'd go, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! There's so- it, it's weird- it weirds me out how many people, they have their phones out in the middle of the movie, or like- Oh my- they're the worst people! That was the worst is that we went to one, and the guy was trying to film it the whole time. <laughs> yeah, he was sticking his fucking hand God, right up! Remember, why can't they be Ryan, killed? like, joking, like, stood up and made the face at him, because he kept trying to record it at the yeah. beginning. There should be a little but okay, right, so on each seat, there should be a little, uh, a little joystick, right? So when you move the joystick, a spotlight turns on, and then you can use the joystick to center the joystick on the there person who's talking. And, and then you, can, you push a button, and, and then a lady and it says, "Shoots them in the well, fucking face." I was gonna say, <laughs> it urinates on them, and then it says, no. "Get out, you fucking bitch." Because in game because servers, you can vote kick, kick a player if you hate them. <laughs> yeah. Everyone should have touch pads, and you can vote kick someone out of the theater if you're getting annoyed. Yeah, by you them. should move the joystick, and a little red laser appears in their head, so they don't notice at first. And then if uh, five red lasers appear on one head at the same time, then the spotlight turns on and says. Get out of our theater, you are stink. And then they have to walk <laughs> out- <laughs> They have to walk out in shame while they get sprayed with water from the roof. I don't- What if the guy came up to you with, with his gun, put, put, the, put the gun to your temple and said, YOU WANT POPCORN?! I'd say- yes. And I fired popcorn. He shoots it into your mouth. <laughs> you want popcorn?! That's Bartok the Magnificent? It is! It, it sure looks like it. He's here to sell you a They just fly backwards. <laughs> It's here to sell you a direct to VHS movie. <laughs> I remember when I was younger, I was in my house and I was very, very young. And I, my mom and dad's friend brought over this tiny girl who was like, Have you seen Bartok the Magnificent? And I was like, No. And she's like, It's really good. It's, n it's not. <laughs> I know. That poor small child. <laughs> she broke a bunch of my shit. <laughs> because of because the movie. you didn't like the movie. I didn't. I never said, heard Bartok of it. Bartok told me to. Bartok. <laughs> <laughs> there was a scene in the movie. Yeah. Is that what she sounded like, Chris? God, what was their names? There was two little sisters, and they were fucking insane. Can't remember their names. S Helga and Smelda. They were super Irish names. Fucking can't remember at all. Magnifica and the Borg. Irito. <laughs> Irito. <laughs> and Irishi. <laughs> Irishia. <laughs> uh, I want to call my kids the worst names. I mean, they they can legally change the name if it's bad enough. When they're 18. No, that was what happened with uh, Tallulah Does the Hula from Hawaii. 
<laughs> is that real? Yeah, they named their kid Tallulah does the hula. I remember there was, there was a bunch of kids called Peaches and Cream and Tiger Lily and shit. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna call my son Bloombus. Bloombus O'Neill. That was that was the one joke that Julian laughed at during the PJs. What? Was when he he said the thing about the latrine. She said, "That's my sister's name." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> latrine. <laughs> latrine. That's a racist joke. It's funny. <laughs> I hate that show. It's so fucking awful. I can't say I hate it, but it's very boring. I remembered liking it a lot more. I did. I liked it as a kid. Because it was stop motion. Yeah, it looks good. I imagine it was very difficult to work on. Yeah. Because you're doing something like that. And oh it's, shit, this is where. Okay. It's for TV, meaning it's if it gets picked up for a second season, you're right back to work. And you have to sit down on that again and get it rushed out on time. Spartox <laughs> fucking you up. Whoa! Whoa, Nelly! It, uh, in Pokemon Gold and Silver, I remember when I was talking to my friend when I was like 11 or something, or 12. Mm -hmm. He, you know he what, said, it probably, what's a last? It was probably earlier than that. No, no, he, he was like, in Pokemon Gold and Silver, you can get phone calls and you can have fights with people who call you up. Was that true? Yeah, yeah. That's the thing in it. Was it good? It's actually a thing yeah. that I really like they, about it. Yeah. They do it because you can get money back from people by well, uh, plus fighting you can them keep over grinding. Over. In yeah. this game, you can run out of people to yeah. fight, and oh. you can run out of situations to you know keep getting things. So that's pretty cool. It was a good idea. I like it a lot. They also call you sometimes that there's like groups of Pokemon appearing in the wild. Wait, really? They have, yeah, they have special ones that'll sometimes appear in like big swarms. Wow. It was a really cool idea, especially for a Game Boy Color game. So it made you it feel say, really alive. Would you say Gold and Silver are the definitive Pokemon game? I would say so, yeah. It added a whole lot, and uh... I remember I had uh, Heart Gold and I did not like it. It's because it slows it down a lot more and adds a lot of dialogue it's onto it. I mean, it's also incorporating all the de all the design changes and, and like system stuff that they added to the yeah. series. You know, because I, I, I like the simplicity of this one, but uh, like it's not that fleshed out. I feel like p gold and silver probably fleshed it out a ton. It did. Yeah. Personally, I really like. Uh, for me, the highlight of the series was probably Ruby and Sapphire. I remember I, really I had like one of those. One. That's the one where you start with the running shoes, right? Yes. Yeah. I didn't get very far. That's when I started not liking the aesthetic, and I just didn't try. I That's like fair. It definitely. I, I even though I like the Pokemon in that uh, generation, it's definitely like a design change. Like it's not. Yeah. It doesn't feel like the same. That's uh, when the, the art style was slowly the beginning two. to change and everything too. But uh, oh my god, I am so stupid about this. Sure, I will play in you, in me. Sticks head inside of you. Looks around. <laughs> wow, this place stinks. That's a good ROM hack, Chris. <laughs> if they had a little cutscene, they had doing little it. asterisks that says "sticks head inside of you." Oh, <laughs> uh, she has a rat. He's a radical rat. I would love to too. find. I wonder, has is there any psycho out there who made a ROM hack and just made it all like that? There's stuff like that. I remember one of- there's a lot of ROM sites, well, they, uh, they will, like, include ROM hacks with the original ROM file sometimes, too. Yeah. And there's a version of Mortal Kombat Trilogy that was, uh, beat me when I say it, because you're probably not gonna get ads if I said the name, but it was, uh, it was Mortal Kombat Edition. Oh. And the- the opening of the game says, like, the evil boob master makes poop! on all the STUPID people, <laughs> and they just swapped all the words, so one of the characters' names is just whore. Oh my it's God. stuff like that, like, it's the laziest ROM hack I've ever seen. But the ROM file for Mortal Kombat Trilogy just comes with that included, so if you want to be entertained, I guess, you, you have You just that. reminded me of something. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Um, in school, we used to have textbooks, like, for like, I don't know, math, English, and Irish. Uh -huh. And in the English one specifically, there was short stories that were like to made tell up in the dark. No, they they were like made up or printed I off wish. the internet by the teacher. I, like he he would write stories for the Simpsons and shit. Why? Or it'd be like uh oh, or did he just mean like test questions? No, like not even. It was like he wrote out his own little Simpsons stories. Now that I think about it, like like not not like I don't know uh, why Homer he did it. has three donuts and Lenny takes two. No, it wasn't like that. It was literally uh, a short story that we were supposed to study. It was like Homer and Marge and Maggie are all in the living room. Like Santa's it was like a helper. memory thing, like, oh, did you remember how many fingers she held no, up? No, that's <laughs> what it, it was a grammar test. 
That's what it was. We were supposed to find grammar mistakes. Okay. But, um... We used to fucking just be idiots and just cross out words and just replace them. So it'd be like, Homer fucked Maggie. Homer, <laughs> Homer threw Maggie into the fire. Is that, how you, <laughs> is the that fire. how you came up with the Sixens? No, it's not. It's just literally something that we used to do with everything. We would cross out words in our English books and replace verbs and words so that they were just disgusting porn. And one time the teacher found it and he got really fucking mad. And he kicked my friend out of the classroom even though I was the one who did it. Aww. And I felt bad, but it wouldn't feel bad enough. You know what? <laughs> I was an asshole, okay? I was a teenager. It's okay. Anyways, we're Hey, he did shitty things to me, too. I don't care. Be nice. <laughs> Be nice. <laughs> I feel like that's it's good okay, advice. It's okay, Chris. We're escaping this region now, except I chose teleport by accident! Ah! I don't know if I ever told the story of my friend Sean Kiley when it... We were... <laughs> he was a new student in my school at the time. This was his first year of, like, in my school. Uh-huh. And he came in, in, like, in the middle of high school, essentially, so we were, like, 16, meeting each other. But he came in, and we were doing, uh... <laughs> we were doing transition year. Uh -huh. Which means it's a year off, and you don't really have to do much, except coming to school and just, like... Like, just chill. Like, it was just a year off. Yeah. But you still have to go to school and do bullshit. But we had art class, and we were all given uh, big wooden boards to lean on for the for the paper and shit. Uh -huh. And he just drew this massive, veiny, hairy cock on it with a huge permanent marker. Oh, <laughs> it was like no. it was like super thick outlines. There's no way he'd be able to like cross it out or like rub it out or anything. He just drew this fucking gigantic cock on it and then everyone was laughing at it because it was so funny looking i would be funny especially in permanent marker but, but yeah, i don't know what he was expecting because we all left the class he flipped the board over so the teacher wouldn't see right yeah. until it was too late but then we were all in were like you there when the teacher saw no okay no we were all in our like hub classroom where we have to go and sit and eat lunch or whatever sure. and the big tall scary teacher walked in who, who taught irish and he was pretty much the disciplinary teacher because he was like old and scary. Yeah. And he walked in and he's like, "So we have a bunch of artists here, do we?" And we were just like, "Yes, sir." He's like, "So I'm going to be like, like I'm going to be, I'm going to be calling." <laughs> he, you thought he was complimenting you? <laughs> no, no, yeah, exactly. He's like, "I'm going to be calling you all out individually, and we're going to be lining you up outside, and I'm going to ask you one by one who did it, and you know what it is." And we we're just like, "Oh." Fuck. <laughs> so, like, every single person was getting lined up, and the first person he picked was Sean. Uh, so, Sean just went in and, like, instantly caved. He was like, yeah, I did it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. And he got sent home, and he got a, discipl a disciplinary. And the, the, he, he literally had to tell his mom and dad in school what he did. Golly. They brought his mom and dad in, and they were just like, go on, Sean, tell him. It's like, I, I drew this big, massive penis on, yes. on the board. <laughs> Did he draw it well, or was it like it was funny? It average, was, like just kind of like oh, they it don't was know a how to big draw a nasty dick. cock. Like it was, it was not pleasant, but it was really funny because Sean's like art looks funny. It's just silly. Yeah. So it looked like a big deformed cock, but it was great. I wish I had That's fun a good story. school stories because everything in like our school system when I was younger was just a mess. No, my, my school experience was mostly terrible. I, I, I've Never been so miserable in my whole life as waking up for school. I hated it. I've been recently like thinking back to a lot of it and how I'm kind of surprised by it. For example, they had key loggers on the computers. That was their security system that they used Ooh. at our high school. That's they not were good. key logging no, everyone and it was automatically taking screenshots. I found out about it because it was in the C drive. And you could access it through the browser. Wow. And they were taking screenshots of everyone's computer for like every five minutes. Yeah. It was tracking every keystroke you made. And they were just monitoring kids like actively, which obviously that and part's normal. And then that normal. system got taken advantage of. Yeah, that's what happened is that a bunch of kids found out about it and they started going in and messing with kids like email accounts and everything. Ooh. And the fact that they had a keylogger running already, like, yeah, that's, that's probably why that's they illegal. suspended the that kids. That is illegal, yeah. Because, yeah, that's not a legal thing to do, but they did it anyways. We had lots of stuff like that always happening at our school. Like, it just didn't function. Letting kids have access to computers in school is kind of a bad idea. <laughs> well, that too. Kids are smart. Kids figure out code yes, and shit Yes, probably quick. smarter than you. Yeah. So you I can't... mean, certainly during that time. Yes. Because technology. Feel like, I feel like things might have changed since then. I think people are more computer literate in general. But like, when when I think our generation was growing up, 
You kind of assumed that adults didn't know how to use computers, yeah? Mm. Would you say that? Yeah. Maybe that was just my experience. No, that's exactly what it was like. There was that window where no one really knew how to do anything with technology. But, yeah, that was a thing that happened, and I didn't think about it when I was a kid because it was just like, Oh god, oh, that's awful, I, I don't want to get in trouble because I know about this or anything. But now that I think about it, it's like, okay, the reason anyone probably got in trouble is because, yeah, they wanted to cover that up. They didn't want that to get out there that, yes, they were monitoring what kids were, like, emailing. Yeah. They were able to get their direct information off of that if they wanted to and could get onto their accounts for things. Like, that's horrible that they had that system running, and I couldn't believe it. Now, was this the normal school, or was this that other school? No, this was a normal high school. This was just a public high school, and it's in, like, a rich community and everything, too. So, it was pretty crazy that they were doing that to the students there. Shocker, she said. Our school had a thing called the Language Lab, which was just a room full of computers that we learned French in. And, uh, I was the guy who showed everyone how to use Microsoft Sam and make him say shit. <laughs> but then this one guy sitting next to me wouldn't stop doing it. He kept oh. making him say really dirty shit. Oh. And the teacher got mad. She, she threw her language lab at me. Chris, did you have computer lab technicians ever mess with you? No. Because I remember at one point... Oh, I miss my computer teacher. Wait, go on. Uh, when I was in class one time, a kid was uh, showing me something in the browser as I was writing a paper. And all of a sudden, I get logged out, and I thought, like, he hit a hotkey or something. Yeah. So I'm typing my paper, and all of a sudden, they hit Control-A to, like, select everything. They delete it. Oh my and they God. save the file and close it and log me out again. Wow. And they ended up, like, typing into the login screen a message at me. And I remember typing back, like, I'm writing a paper in class right now. Knock it the, knock it the hell off. <laughs> And right. I actually got called in to the principal for that because the guy was so furious about it. But it's like, what the fuck? Like, you went and you're gonna delete... Wait, you mean staff yeah, was doing that? I, yes. And you got in I trouble? I got in trouble for it. That's retarded. Stuff like that was always happening. It's why, like, I don't have fun school stories. It was just really suspicious behavior <laughs> like that. And just kids kind of getting in trouble because they were figuring out how much of a mess the school system was. I gotta say, getting unfairly in trouble in school is... Nothing will make you hate the system more. It's true. Like, um... There was points when I had teachers who would discipline me, and I knew I fucked up, and I'd be like, you know what, yeah, Yeah, but yeah. then you take it on the chin because yeah. you did it. Yeah, yeah. I, I screwed up, I'm sorry, but then there's other times... Like that, that's what happened with the computer with the my computer teacher like one time I was fucking around She gave me detention or whatever and I I was like fucking shit. It's not fair But then later on I'm like I was being a cockhead But then there was times where you would get in trouble for something like you didn't do or someone else is sitting next to you Like talking to you and you're like Could you stop and then the teacher will like yell at you and give you detention and it'll just make you hate them Make you be like, you just, you're fucking with my life and it's not my fault. Why are you doing that? This is definitely not as serious as an, of an example, but I, I uh, remember in, in grade school, uh, they were teaching crocheting for our school. They didn't have like electives or anything, but you, you got the, the class was called handiwork or something. Like yeah. That. And so we were learning to crochet and I accidentally said crochet, <laughs> but like it wasn't on purpose. Cause I was, I was a little kid. I didn't swear back yeah. then. And the teacher was furious with me, and uh, and I still got in trouble for it. I couldn't convince her that I didn't do it. Yeah. I, I had the same thing happen, and I got kept at school the entire day to the point that my mom even showed up and was saying, like, he's coming home with me, he's not staying here for this, because they thought they heard me say a swear in the hallway that I didn't say, and I didn't even know why I was in trouble. And they were trying to get me to, like, admit it the whole time, so I had no idea what was even going on. Yeah. And I think I was kept until, like, 4.30 or something. Like, it was a few hours after school had ended, until finally, like, I just got pulled out of there. But that was... That's why I, I wish I had fun stories. This is the, the stuff that always happened. We had, a uh, in, in middle school, there was a kid who smeared his shit across all the lockers one day, and then pulled a fire alarm because he was about to get in trouble, the whole school got called together in, like, the auditorium about it. Oh, you told me that before. Yeah, and then he pulled the fire alarm, so everyone just left. But stuff like that was always happening. Like, everybody there, it just felt like it was just constant chaos. I had a guy in my school who pissed his pants just because someone told him to. <laughs> they were like, you should piss yourself. And he was like, okay, uh, and he did it. <laughs> well, he was a real funny guy. He was also the same guy who wrote his name on the toilet with shit. I mean, kids would do dumb stuff like that, too. Yeah. 
just because it's like, yeah, oh, it's funny. Well, <laughs> this music to that visual is hilarious. <laughs> yeah. What, him smearing his shit around <laughs> with really upbeat music? And then that is, is the shit falling back in the toilet. <laughs> That's the teacher catching him and he's running away. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the teacher grabbing him by the neck. <laughs> that's them screaming at him. <laughs> Punching him on the head. <laughs> and now the teacher wins. <laughs> the child's been knocked out. <laughs> no, he's back. <laughs> What I was really... like? What was the most trouble someone at your school got in? Mm -hmm. My friend, my, my best friend, for the first three years, he used to get in trouble every day. He like, I don't know, like, uh, you know what? I also had three people in my class, all called Stephen, and they were the worst in the class. They were the ones always getting in trouble, and uh, one of them, there was, I think I, yeah, he was the science teacher for my first year. He, he was so mean to one of those Stevens, and like, the, the Steven was actually like, a nice guy, but he just got in trouble a lot. But the teacher was so brutally mean to him, that one time he started shaking and his face turned like, blood red, like, Jesus. really dark red. And the teacher was like, making fun of him while this was happening. And then I think Steven said something al along the lines of, I hope your house burns to the ground, or something like that. And I shit you not, that year his house burned to the ground. Oh my god. god. Yeah. I wonder if he did it. No, he didn't do it. It was because the teacher was a, an alcoholic. Oh. <laughs> and he just like fell asleep with the oven on or something. Well, there is justice sometimes. I remember a bunch of kids in class thought it was really funny to hold your breath until you passed out, so the one did it. And then when he collapsed, he cracked his head on the radiator and had to go to the hospital. Yeah. I don't know like why. Literally cracked his. Yes, head. like it actually, his skull got cracked open, and he ended Jeez. up getting pulled out and got sent to the hospital. I don't know why you would do something like that. There's but like, a that's really you deserve that in full if you're going to be tempting fate like that. You should not be trying to just pass out for no reason, just for fun. There's a weird, like, sad truth that I'd say 10% of teachers really want to help kids. And the other 90% are just failures who are stuck in that job. Probably. We had a we had a teacher in our one grade, and she actually got fired because she was intentionally avoiding working. She would tell everyone to go read books, yeah, and then she would just leave the room. And sometimes she didn't even come in. I have a Is huge... that the same teacher where you were reminded of her because of the new Undertale thing? What? The how you said that, that you had a teacher that was looking at porn in class. <laughs> that that was different, but that one was pretty bad too. Oh boy. That one was pretty bad, too. I no, lots of stuff. They lied to us that 9-11 didn't happen. I remember that was a thing. Mm. They told everybody for, like, <laughs> two months straight that it wasn't real. Because they didn't want the kids to be upset. That's kind of funny. But not really. <laughs> Jesus. I have, I have a serious, serious appreciation for teachers who actually care. Yeah, me too. Yeah, definitely. Like, because when definitely. you have them, you really appreciate yeah, them, Yeah, and too. you remember them for the rest yeah, of your life. Yeah, because I can remember teachers who cared. I, I always still, really liked them. Uh, I was still... good friends with a lot of the, like, tech department. Yeah, I had, I had, like, one or two really good teachers that I really care about and were super kind, but the rest were just, like, washed up pieces of shit who seemingly liked to be just be horrible to kids. It was just like, fuck you. But, My, uh... uh Oh, are you gonna go with something? I was gonna say, what, like, uh, have you ever seen that video on YouTube of the guy? He's in, like, the classroom, and he's like, I'm so fucking sick of you handing out packets. You need to, like, touch these kids. You need to actually get on their level and, like, speak to them and teach them, not just fucking hand out packets. I remember the first time I saw it, I was like, wow, that really is relatable. That's just, like, what most teachers are. They just sit there and, like, just throw something at you and make you do it, and they don't care. That's I mean, what they call busy work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I remember this too. We we had a technology course, and the idea was that we had to learn how to use Perl, which is like a command line thing that you have to do for networking. Like if you want to get into a FTP, if you want to upload files and everything, mm. and we were supposed to use that to. Is that like Perforce? It it I don't know how to really explain it oh. in a way that would make too much sense, but it okay. was it was a thing that we were supposed to learn just for the sake of uploading files to uh, the school system. And we did not get taught how to actually do it. We got told that we had to do it, but he said nothing to us about it. It wasn't in the book or anything either. He just expected us to do it. And what ended up happening was that uh, I ended up just finding that he had the file uploaded already. And I hate saying this. I'm sorry I'm admitting this, but it's what ended up happening. Oh, you should be playing the game. Yeah, I should be. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I stopped for a second, but... Uh, I ended up just taking his file 
and showing it to everybody so they could re-upload it. And Ooh. I showed them how to use Pearl because he wasn't teaching anybody how to do it. I, uh, and it was really fucking frustrating having a teacher who wouldn't actually teach the class. I had a business teacher who literally taught no one anything. He just sat up it there. It happens. Yeah. Like, sometimes they will just expect you to go through the book on your own and just sort of sit there and hand you tests. Yeah. It's frustrating. No, he came in on the first day in first year business and he put a, like, profit and loss sheet in front of us. Just like, just do that. We're like... What? How? And he's like, figure it out. We're like, just, okay. I yeah, actually I said, yeah, thank you. I literally never learned how to do it because I just drew on paper in his class and he didn't even care. I just literally, I wasted all that fucking time drawing on paper. Me good. Me bad. <laughs> okay, let me do this really quick. Welcome to the crushing center. We have lots of high heels. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I, I probably smush, should have read the text smush, before smush, I gave smush. these to you. Well, I guess they're all dead, but at least you're horny now, yes? I had a situation kind of like that, where we had a, in college, a mature student who was like, probably 60 years old, trying to learn how to use, like, 3D Studio Max, uh -huh. which is not going to fucking happen. No. It's just not going to happen. I don't know why that person signed up for it, and, uh, but at the time, I thought the old lady was nice, and, uh, the teacher was like, can you show her how to do something? I'm like, sure. I just sat down trying to show her how to do it, and she starts screaming at me and getting really mad. Mm -hmm. Be like, "You need to slow down! You need to slow down!" I'm just like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing what you want. I'm literally just doing whatever you want." And she, she got really mad. The teacher came over in the middle of this tiny little argument, and it was, it wasn't even an argument at this point. And then uh, he said, "Is everything okay?" And I said, "Yeah, everything's fine." And then she went, "No, he's not going fast enough." And then the teachers aren't no, slow enough. And then the teacher started yelling at me, and I'm like, "You're the one who fucking asked me to show her this shit." And he's like, "You know what? Just fuck off." I'm like, okay, wow, Oops. okay, I um, guess I'm done here. And I, just, I was so fucking angry, because it's like, why is this person in this class wasting everyone's time? She's bringing the class to a standstill, because she's all like, oh, I'm having a midlife crisis, and I want to do animation now and be artistic. No, you're not going to learn 3D Studio Max. Fucking, I can barely learn, and I'm good at this shit. Fucking bitch.